What is going on? What is going on, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in to another DTKA Promotions show. Now, what I'm going to need y'all to do, I'm going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I'm going to go ahead and ignore the little green glare you see. You know what I'm saying? We're making some adjustments on this side. When I sit my ass down and I start doing commentary, we'll be straight. So ignore what you're seeing right now. You know what I'm saying? Kind of men in black just... You know what I'm saying staring to the light type shit. But uh, we got a bomb ass show for y'all today. But before we even jump this thing off, make sure y'all are hitting those likes, shares, follows, and y'all need to drop elbows on the motherfuckers. We need to turn this shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's been a crazy ass week, all kinds of crazy ass shit going down. But let's show these motherfuckers that you can't stop our flow and we gonna keep doing what the fuck we do. Appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? I see we got who is that? We got Smoke William in the house, we got day. Mike in the house. We got uh, Bulk Logan in the house over there. Mark, I see you in the building, man. Titan, I see you in the house, man. Everybody up in here doing their motherfucking thing. Um, 
Let me go ahead and get to this real quick. So Raquel Gonzalez and Dakota Kai became our NXT champions, was it? Well, maybe for 2.5 seconds before Shotzi Blackheart and Ember Moon came in there and just shat all over that. I thought that was fucking hilarious um, to go ahead and begin with. Then you got Finn Balor. Pretty much, he saw Karrion Cross coming just like we did. We already know what it is, and I kind of feel bad for Finn because... I don't want him to lose the belt, but seeing how much Triple H and NXT are just pushing Karrion Cross and kind of pulling a Roman Reigns when it comes to shoving him down our throats, like, it, it, it's coming. Karrion Cross is about to take the belt off of Finn, and then we're going to go ahead and go from there. It, 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 it's going to be crazy. I, I, I don't know what the fuck. But uh, that botch at AEW, though, how y'all feel about that? Folks was wilding out about that shit. So what you think, what you think? Who is that with them cups? Rashid pulling up. Okay, we got black booty hole face in the house. You know what I'm saying? Black peppermint booty hole face in the house, if I must say. Hey, and if y'all haven't already, make sure y'all are hitting those subscribe and notifications on the YouTube page. Yes, these shows along with the podcast and other content are available on the YouTube page. So hit that motherfucking noti bell. Again. That botch on AEW, though. How about that shit? I'm pretty sure y'all seen the steal where Kenny Omega is just sitting there stuck for about Smoke 10 seconds and shit. Yes, that is exactly what the fuck we all thought when that shit went down. And Poe Eddie, po Poe Eddie, them old little weak ass sparks went off and he sat there and played dead and just, I feel him for being old school and rolling through with it, but Poe Eddie and then the way they tried to sell it on Wednesday was just no. Not it, not it. But that Darby cinematic though, with him and Sting, was off the fucking chain. Like, Darby has a future after wrestling in cinematics. And I hope they continue to let him shoot his vignettes and his, like all his cinematography just like WWE is letting The Fiend do. So, with that being said, I'm pretty sure y'all tired of looking at my black funny looking ass uh, during this time. And I'm pretty sure y'all tired of looking at that green glare. So, what we gonna do is we gonna pull up Get over here and hit these motherfucking things. First break, coming at you. Stay safe. First thing we do is we pre-gaming at the house. You know what I'm saying? That's going down first. Yes. After that, straight to the strip club. Oh, asses are on me. You gotta be prepared for hey. that. You know what I'm saying? This is my birthday. Yeah. Let's yeah. have fun. Yeah. You feel me? That's my fun. I've been chilling on the west side with the cheese with the girls and my bros. Eh? Damn, they come my gangster ass cousin, man. He a super blood, so turn your hat around. Do that now. Do what? that. Yeah. Don't say no C words. Don't say whatever you don't say. What do you mean? Don't say whatever you do. Do not. What's cracking, Bernilius, nigga? What's happening, man? What up, man? Happy birthday, buzzing. Thank you, bro. Indeed. Hey. Hey, hey, blood. hey I'm Christopher. Pleasure. Christopher, my nigga. Good to meet you. Bow and blood. Mike. All day on bloods. Hey, man, why well, gotta hear from moms that you celebrating your birthday without me, blood? My bad, man. I know you was in town. I'm always in town for family blood. We buzzins, homie. We go way back. Hey, remember back in the day when we was bids? We used to watch DuckTales, homie? Yeah. We used to be like, DuckTales, Sue! Yeah. On blood, yeah. didn't you yeah. feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yep. You said brother, brother break? Yeah, blood. We celebrating my buzzins' birthday, blood. It's a celebration, like cake and candles. No, nigga, like celebration, homie. Like birthday baking bandles, blood. And champagne. Hey man, where blood from, nigga? No, he, he I'm from Seattle. Oh, you from Seattle? I get it now. I'm no, from Seattle. It's Seattle. Hey, what's up, Walter Brexton's blood? Hey, I'm sorry for not inviting you out, man. My bad. That's that's my fault. No, it's all good, blood. But had I known, blood, I would have made you the whole hood bang out, blood. It's totally unnecessary, bro. Nah, it's always never berry, blood. You my buzzing, blood. You're right. But it's all good. I got the homie runner coming through. He gonna paint the town red with us tonight. Runner, when he, when he get out? Since now, blood, happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening, blood? <laughs> What's happening, man? Run up, blood. I mean, Christopher. Ride, 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 run up, homie. Mike. Ride, 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 ride. What's happening with the letteration, blood? Bar basil? Yeah, they actually say you right. Bar nope. Bar nope. It's bar basil. Bar basil. Bar basil. But look. Bam, I was gonna wear this later, but you just had an extra show. Always. Yeah, man, you gotta make sure you comfortable on your own skin, blood. Right, right. Here you go. There it is. See that? Right. See that? Right. You look nice and bozy now, blood. Hold up, blood. Right. 
It's you over here. That's bracket right there, blood. We gonna oh, be shit. Up. All right, man. All right, we gonna be the boner real quick, blood. Right. I'm gonna be you later, all right? All right. You know what I'm saying? Stop hanging with squares, blood. I'll be safe. Hey, look here. How long you been a blood? I've been a blood all my life, but I, I'm a regular nigga. I'm like a regular blood. They real bloods. They like activated. What? Was there a button? Yes. Then you almost pushed it. Just fucking with y'all. Just fucking. Just yeah, it's your day. Uh huh. Thought somebody put something in your blood, huh? John, appreciate that like. Yellow Mountain coming in with that like. Mr. Five coming in with that like back. No. Omar, I see you with those. Okay. Yellow Mountain, thanks for the share. Oh, What's happening, y'all? Mr. Wade is looking to put boots to asses right now. If I am Rip Skinner, I would just go ahead and leave the fucking ring right now. Like, go ahead and leave the arena, pack my shit up. You know what? What they got in catering. Let's go see what the hell they got going on in catering now. Gotcha. Yeah, y'all gotta excuse me about that freaking stream deck and shit like that. So we kind of tweaking some things. Rip Skinner's actually getting some licks off here, y'all. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Uh-oh, he say, nah, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. We got Sinister Mr. Wade here, y'all. Who do y'all want to see or who do y'all think is going to lead the Divine Rapture? Do y'all think it's going to be Sinister Mr. Wade or do y'all believe it's going to be Tyler Connor? I, I really don't know. If I'm being honest here, I, I don't know. Both of them look like they can be a threat because Bishop's gone. The motherfucker's gone. He's gone and he's not coming back. 
Do you hear me? He is not coming back. So, with that being said, who do y'all think is going to end up taking over this thing? Or who do you want to see take over this thing? He says, yo, boss, 80 proof wants a shot at the outlaws. We want those belts. Oh, <laughs> funny story about that. Um, well, due to recent developments, A. Reese, thanks for that follow right there. We got a new simper, y'all. Y'all know what to do. Pull up on those cups right now for our new follower because it is live. And what is, is that? that? What is that? Mr. Fine dropping in those 200 of them stars. Reese, thanks for the follow. Mr. Fine, thank you for the stars, man. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, you kindly. kindly. Thank you kindly for those. Thank you so kindly for those. Appreciate it. Oh, that's why it was doing it. Okay. Bam, got it fixed. All right, we shouldn't be having no more issues with the whole switch, switch, switch thing. Biz, thanks for the like. Appreciate you sipping with us. Glad y'all are loving this Kool-Aid Rip Skinner with a clothesline. Hold up. Hold up. Mr. Wade. Mr. Wade, sir. My, my good sir. We, we got to step it up. This is Rip Skinner. This has been the whipping boy of the Divine Rapture since he showed up. Like, seriously, he is the red-headed stepchild with two black eyes in the Divine Rapture. You cannot let this man sit here and whoop your ass. Pull up. Oh, more. I see you with those hashtag DTKAs. Yellow Mountain pouring up those cups. Oh, no. He just chopped block Uncle Charles's knee. Somebody clip that. Yo, Sinister Mr. Wade don't give a fuck. Yo, well, if there was a question who was going to be running things, we may have an answer right now or we at least seeing an audition from Sinister Mr. Wade because he's not giving a damn right now. Not one damn. You see Mariah Circle in the ring. But Rip Skinner is not giving a damn as well. Hypnosis, of course, he gonna clip that. Y'all know he gonna troll. Uh-oh, we got Rose Cartel in the house. Okay, yes, but, um, John Wirtz, about that uh, whole Outlaws and Tag Team Championships thing. See, um, what had happened was, was there was some fuckery this week. So, not only was Sean Perfect fired, Sorry, y'all. I'm pulling up right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't sit by yourself. Not only did, Sha did we fire Sean Perfect, but the Outlaws have been stripped of their tag team championships. And there will be, I repeat, there will be a triple threat tag team match tonight for those belts. Now, 80 crew. Y'all aren't in that match. Y'all only got, you know, I believe, what's that? One, one dub. Let me double check the books real quick. Only one dub in there, but we will be crowning. We will be crowning a tag team champion tonight. Yes, you and uh, you and Blacked Out Label made y'all's debut last week. So with only one dub, I couldn't just, you know what I'm saying, pitch at the boss or make a case to drop y'all in the tag team match. But trust me when I tell you, I'm taking notice. Oh my damn, Robert! Robert, what is going on, man? Robert, what is going on, man? How you doing? Y'all, I need to see everybody in this chat. Not only hit those reactions, but pull up some cups for Robert. He's back. The man is back. The man is back. Pull up. Sinister Mr. Wade made quick work of Rip Skinner, y'all. Quick work. I say quick work. BJ, what's happening? What's good, my good sir? What is good, my good sir? Oh, no. Nah, y'all spoiling me. Y'all don't spoil me now. 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 Robert also dropping in with those shares. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Good deal. Good deal. I see y'all sipping. Mark Bennett in the house. Dropping the like. Glad y'all loving the Kool-Aid. Nancy, thanks again for those stars. Mr. Five, Chris, bro, thanks for those stars, man. Y'all are pulled up right now. And Sinister Mr. Wade is three and two. So, um, while being a newcomer here at DTKA Promotions, um, making that Intercontinental Division look very, very interesting. 
Very interesting. John Wertz says 80 proof will take on all tag teams. We will run through this division. He say we ain't just going to climb our way to the top. He said we going to run through that motherfucker. Ew. Oh, no, he didn't. Mr. Mr. Five, what in the world you got to go and do that now? Don't spoil me now. Don't spoil me now. Thank you for those 100 stars, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so damn much, man. Oh, man, y'all hit me in the field, man. Let's pull up. Pull up. VJ, thanks for that like, bro. I know y'all be loving the Kool-Aid. Corey Davis with those cups. Hashtag Robert in the chat. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's how you sip, dude. That's how you sip. Up next, we have Mariah Kojima nerfed and Punk Girl Dynamite in this thing. And again, knowing Punk Girl Dynamite, she's going to probably do what she always does, and that's be late. Last one to show up. Nancy coming through with those shares already in the clutch. That's what I'm talking about. CE Dub fam in the house. What's good? Hey, what happened? I was looking at, was there not a show yesterday? I thought I was tripping, but I looked and I don't believe I saw a show yesterday. What happened? Everything good? Biz Beats with the night, didn't Biz Beats was good, Triple OG, Triple OG. OG, Triple Triple. What's good? Cheryl pouring up with those likes. Thank you kindly. Yellow Mountain coming through with another barrage on those shares. Y'all know how we do. But yes, again, tonight there will be a triple tag team match to find out who will be the tag team champions of the most recently vacated tag team championships. It will be Mean Savages, Click420, and MBI for the tag team championship. And yes, y'all, that is the main event. That is the main event for tonight, and oh damn, she just bust a cartwheel with it. I say boy. I say boy. DJ, we doing good, man. We sipping. We sipping. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Oh, he said stimmy. Stimmy, 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 y'all. What you talking about? Give me that mic and I'ma take it away. Boom, boy, y'all. The Brooklyn Squad. Yo, yeah. Mr. Five, thanks for those shares, babe. Pull up. Pull up. Book said, Nerf said she gonna surf your Astro Turf. Oh, man, bro. I had to look at that for a second. Like, did I see what I thought I saw? He said he gonna surf that ass. Ricky J. Potatoes in the house. What is up, man? Y'all already know what it is. Your main arch and toot, huh? In the house. You say you ready to get that dub tonight. Yeah, I've been seeing you and Thomas Magnum, you know, with the back and forth and all of that. I've, I've, been, I've been peeping game. I've been, pe I've been peeping game. So that will be settled tonight. I went ahead and put a good word in to get that in for the boss. And he obliged. So that will be on the card. MD Monacon with the like. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate everybody dropping through and sipping that Kool-Aid. And thanks to everybody hitting those reactions. What? Oh, Rob Banks is in the house? Wait, what? Rob Banks is in the building? Oh, damn, we pulling up for real, for real. Uh-oh. Hey, y'all, we need cups. I need cups right now, right now. I need cups right, right now. Right now, right now, I say I need cups right now, right now, right now. Red Flaviano, make your way to the bar to get your cup of Kool-Aid and pull up. Can I get some cups in the chat right now? What is good? And just like I told y'all, last one in the building, coming from the nearest nightclub, is PGD. Yo, what the hell? Now, y'all saw I miss Mariah's entrance because she come in so quick, love running through the dark and shit. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't catch it, but it is what it is. You know, you know, we do what we do. You know, pimping since been pimping since been pimping. You know, it is what it is. But somebody about to get that ass whooped. Tori Lynn with those cups. Lauren with those cups and those cupcakes. Okay, I see you. I see you. Yellow Mountain pulled up with a lot of those cups. Marlon coming through with a whole load of them things. That's what's good. Yo, Rose coming through with those cups. Rosa Banks. Jordan Farris coming in with those cups. 
Robert got those cups. Y'all, thank y'all so much for welcoming our sipper. Speaking of, Jabrick Surabaya. Drop in with another follower. Let me go to hit that one more time. Jabrick Surabaya with the follow. Go ahead and make your way to the ball right now and get your cups. Okay, dropped in with that share as well, my good sir. Thank you kindly. Much appreciated. Let's get it. Let's get it. Kojima and PGD going at it at the outside of the ring, right by the commentator's table here. They might want to watch it, though. They might want to watch it. Nerfed and Mariah. Well, now, you know what I just peeped? Mariah was just out here. She basically walked to Gorilla, busted a bitch, and came right back down to the ring, y'all. Omar dropping in with that share. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. What is that? Nah, no, man. Y'all got, got it. Y'all spoiling the shit out your boy. Thanks for those 200 stars, Ricky Rose. Y'all know that money bag is deep. Homie, stay going and making those cups. Y'all know that money bag is deep. Y'all know that money bag is deep. Homie, stay going and making those deposits and withdrawals. Holler at them. You can find them at your nearest ATM. What is good, y'all? Jabrick Sir Abaya with the shares as well. Okay, coming through with a few of those things. Pro up. Pro up. Mariah is awesome. Y'all see she's giving PGD the business right now. Nerf tries to swing at Kojima, but Kojima ducks. Nerf still catches her, throws her in the rings. Mariah looked like she was going for a move on PGD, but second guessed it, it looks like. Ooh. Mariah did not know they had a hood in hell. Dropping in that follow age. Thanks, my man. Thanks, my man. Dropping in new sipper today. Kojima with the power bomb from the corner. Quincy coming in with the like. Thanks, man. Appreciate everybody dropping through sipping with us, y'all. We on one already. We had Sinister Mr. Wade deliver the squash to Rip Skinner. You know what I'm saying? Coming in and getting those easy dubs, making quick work of. Rip Skinner because Rip Skinner should have been there. I'm not a big fan of Bishop. Y'all know me. Like, I'm on his ass every chance I get, just like with hypnosis. But if you're going to be a family and considering how serious the Divine Rapture takes that, should have been there, bro. It wasn't like your ass was doing shit. Cynthia, thanks for the like. Thanks for pulling up with us. I see you. And he hit that notify button. This is our moderator, Joe Will Gaming, live streaming Mobile Legends. Already appreciate that, bro. Thanks for that notification, man. I appreciate that, broski. Thanks for that, man. Now, normally I don't let people, normally I don't let people come in here and drop, you know what I'm saying, drop little plugs like that, but you dropped in the likes, shares, and some follows and stuff like that and hit notify, I'm a fucks with you, bro, because I'm a real one. So you know what I'm saying? I'll give you, I'll give you a pass this time for sure, for sure, bro. Usually I don't allow it, but I'm a fucks with you this time, man, because you dropped in and showed crazy love, and the support is real, man. So salute to you one time, two times, because I'm Archie two times, man. Thanks for the support. The Rick Sir Abaya coming in, showing love. What is happening? I hope Click 420 wins so we can beat the ad. Yay. Oh, okay. So Jordan is saying he wants Click 420 to win because he wants them. Okay. Okay. I see, I see what you're working with here. Okay. Okay. I see how we doing it. Okay. Okay. We got crazy shit talk going in. Crazy shit talk. Y'all see him out there. Y'all make sure y'all go and hit the follow on Joe Wo Gaming. You know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and hit that for y'all. Go ahead and drop them in right there. Holla at them. You know what I'm saying? Check them out. Check them out. Drop in showing love. And y'all know we support the streamers who drop in and support us. Nice up uppercut. Little forearm uppercut there. More like, kind of like she got more of the elbow Mariah did on that one. For sure, for sure. The Bricks are by saying WWE for sure. Oh, all day. All day. And is Mariah done? Uh-oh, Mariah taking those L's. 
Mirai taking those L's. Okay, let me go ahead and edit that. So right now it is just PGD, Kojima, and Nerf. Who do y'all got? Who do y'all think is going to come up with that mother freaking dub action? Holler at your boy. Meanwhile, I got to go ahead and update Mariah's record books here. She's now three and nine. And it's crazy because she, she's one of the few stars who started off like on a nice hot streak and then just completely tapered off. Really waiting for her to make a comeback. No, she didn't. Nerf just carried PGD all the way to the steps and dropped her on that mug. Holy hot damn. The strength of Nerf to carry her. Now, granted, yes, there are women, but that's a woman carrying another woman. And all the way across, that is the equivalent to Swoverine, a.k.a. Brian Cage, walking Darby Allen up the staircase. I mean, give props when they're due. And a pedigree to Kojima from Nerf. Kojima looks out. PGD is out. And Mirai is still out. I would say, wake her ass up. We got a game to win tomorrow. But uh, she can't really win if she already lost, can she? Yeah. He said 3 9. Damn. Yeah. I know, right? Got to, just got to get on it, man. Those victories will come. The, the victories will come, you know, just gotta, gotta stay motivated, you know what I'm saying? Gotta stay working in the gym, gotta stay honing that craft, you know? She needs to eat more livers. Who, who gonna eat the livers? What, what the hell? Oh, snap, he say Jordan wine cooler ass talking reckless 80 proof, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Y'all, the shit talk is real, and right now it is just PGD, Punk Girl Dynamite, and Nerf left, and Nerf just caught her in mid-air and powerbombed her. Hey, Joe Woe, thanks for another few of those shares, man. Much love and appreciate it, man, for sure, for sure. Corey, thanks for those cups. Says lots of iron in liver. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Yeah, oh, no, she's still old. Kojima is still in and walked right into a arm drag. Kojima cannot just catch a break right now. Punk Girl Dynamite is on one. Like, she is on one for real, for real. For real, for real. Y'all see her boots glowing and shit? Like, she mean business now. She means business now. <laughs> Big Bad Baby Daddy shrugs and ain't the one to judge. Hell no, nah, all that back pay you owe on child support, you can't judge nothing. Oh, y'all, also, orders have been placed. This just in. Breaking news, orders have been placed. The DTKA merch is in all ready. So you can get these shirts. We're gonna have ashtrays. We're gonna have rolling trays coming in. So we are going to be live, y'all. And sooner than y'all freaking think, y'all will be able to get that DTKA merch. So if y'all excited about that, let's get some cups. Pull up even more if you're planning on getting some. And was that what I thought I saw? Did I just see Kojima get eliminated? Two and five. So both Japanese talents are out on this one. It is just Nerf and Punk Girl Dynamite. Who is going to take off? What is about to go down? Interested to see who's going to get this dub, though. Who do y'all think? Y'all think it's going to be PGD or y'all think it's going to be Nerf? Right now, I think it's going to be Nerf because she's been looking like a powerhouse this whole match. The whole match. We say Nerf going to... We said Nerf going to surf still that Astro Turf. Really? Really? Tory Land pulling up those cups. Okay, okay. Mike, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Merch is on the way. Drink the Kool Aid. Merch is on the way, y'all, because y'all already know. I do the wrestling show. I do the podcast. I do live game streams through the week and shit. You know what I'm saying? We run the YouTube and shit. So, very big variety creator here. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the content. So, Want to keep giving y'all that shit because y'all support us each and every week. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you sippers, man. That's real deal Holyfield right like there. Says, please, bro, you just mad you guys don't make the impact we make. Oh, the 420 click is saying that 80 Proof ain't even made a dent in here in DTKA promotions. And y'all, did y'all see that jumping, spinning leg drop from PGD? Nerf with the counter. They have, these women have no intentions on bringing this match in the ring. 
None whatsoever. None whatsoever. And I love it. I love it. I love how tough the women here are at DTK Promotions. I love that they ain't trying to, and as soon as I say that, they would get back in the ring, wouldn't they? Y'all, we got 42 cups pulled up, 277 comments, 37 reactions, 106 shares, y'all. Pull up. Pull up. Nerf is out. Oh, my word. Did not see that one coming. Did not see that one coming. Still with a good record. She's three and five. Three and five. And now PGD actually improves her record. So now Punk Girl Dynamite is now four and nine. Got, got a little ways to go, you know. But, but she getting there. She getting there. Pull up. Rosa says, well, I'll be damned. I'm saying no. I'm saying no. Right? Right? <laughs> he said, yep. Stop that, man. Oh, he said, Click420, you must be smoking too much. We pinned you last week. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So is 80 proof questioning? The 420 clicks, uh... Legitimacy? Do they think, is that their way of saying that they're not worthy? Yo, I think we have, I think we have a rivalry brewing here, brewing here already in the tag team division. It's going down, y'all. Rosa Banks says, see you at the pay-per-view, PGD and Foxy. Oh, Rosa. Okay. Okay, so, so that's what it is. So that's what it is. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Most def. Go ahead and drop that in. So we got Foxy, Rosa, PGD. Maybe Azure, we have to see how this rivalry pans out between her and Rosa Banks. You know, we have to see how that feud works out and what makes of that. But, yo, the 420 is in here, y'all. The 420 is in here. I mean, look, it's all in his hair. This ain't, now, this ain't Click 420. This is the blacked out label. But, I mean, look at the hair, though. I mean, as soon as you see green, you think green. Am I right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but y'all, up next we have 80 Proof versus Blackout Label about to go down. We got Damien, Jordan Sparks, the Sparks Bros going against Rob Anderson and Juan Ortiz. Hold up. Y'all already know how we do. Yes, I'm feeling extra today. I'm feeling hella extra today. Graham Salvatore, thanks for the like, man. Appreciate you coming through, sipping with us, man. How you doing, man? How you doing, man? You know we keep them cups on deck. We got Claude in the house. We got Claude. We got Claude in the house. Hey, ho up. Said, when's the pay-per-view? And what will it be called? Ricky, good question. Very, very, very good question, y'all. Y'all ready to find out what the pay-per-view is? Then, um, y'all stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all, Blacked Out Label making their way to the ring right now. It's is about to go down. better focus on these dudes right here who took out mean savages yeah hey it's gonna be real it is going to be real i agree i agree with you on that one omar i definitely agree with you on that gots to be more careful gots to be more careful you know so they can handle business now granted both of these two tag teams made their debut last week 
you understand? 80 Proof and Blacked Out Label both made their debuts last week and look pretty damn impressive because, if I'm not mistaken, both of them got dubs as well in their debuts. Yes, they did. These are two undefeated tag teams right now. Granted, it's a one and one, but still, but still, it counts. It counts. Ricky Rose says they look dope. Williams says let's go blacked out label. Okay. Y'all, y'all gotta take it easy on Uncle Charles, man. Y'all doing too damn much. Y'all got too damn much. I wonder if my pasta's doing. Nope. That shit cold as hell. You're as cold as ice. Little arm drag there from Damien. Wait, is that Damien or is that Jordan? I can't even see yet. No, no, okay, that's Jordan. That's Jordan. Damien is on the outside of the ring with Rob. Goes for a running shooting star press while standing up. Didn't quite get all that. Not sure what he was thinking, but might want to practice on that some more. Make sure you got a crash pad down, too. That look like a... Oh! Watch out for the face of Jordan. Jordan, cover your grill, man. Cover your grill. Got a jumping front kick right to the face of Juan. Pulls him to the center of the ring. Damien drops Rob like a bad habit. Got punched right in the jaw, right on the button to be exact. And Damien drops him right on the apron. Damn, so I feel like this is going to be a whole match of, uh, with a lot of cover your grills. A lot and lots and lots of cover your grills. Appreciate those cups, Yellow Mountain. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, Jacoyus Whitmill, you damn right. Glad you're loving the Kool-Aid. Stay sipping. Pull up is what it is. Y'all, y'all know how we do here at DCKA Promotions. Thanks to everybody who's hitting those likes and those reactions. Jordan and Juan outside of the ring. Rob slides out underneath. John Sanchez with the light. What's good, man? Thanks for coming in and getting some of that Kool-Aid. Appreciate it, man. Glad y'all are loving it. Pull up. Stay sipping. Tori Lynn with a whole lot of those comments. She laid them out. She laid cups out for everybody. For everybody. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Got a buffet going. Sean got those, not just the cups. He didn't just drop the cups. He dropped the ice cubes, too. He wants to make sure that your shit is ice cold. And what better way than to put ice cubes in it? Your Kool-Aid can't be ice cold if you don't have ice cubes in it. Yo, yo, Sherman Rod, what's happening? Thanks for the like, thanks for the share. Yep, your name sound country as ever, man, but I fucks with you, man, what's good? Juan kicks out with a two count. Uncle Charles flashing up too. Jordan not even phased by it. Juan with the Irish whip to the turnbuckle. Damien has Rob up, oh my gosh, with a suplex lung blower right to the outside. Yo, what do you call that? Damien, what are you calling that move, man? Inform us. Enlighten us. What is that, your 40 ounce? Is that a 40 ounce or an 80 ounce or what you call it? Jaquarius Whitmill says, man, I may have to come toss a few of y'all around. Okay, hey, man. Hey, Jaquarius, if you want to get in, man, hit me with the uh, DM. You know what I'm saying? You can hit me, uh, hit me with the PMs, man. And we can get you in. All we ask. Hold on, real quick. I'm gonna type in a message so you can know which one, to, uh, which profile to message. Hit me up. You know what I'm saying? All we ask, bro, is to drop in to the shows every Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern. You know what I'm saying? Drop in. Hit those likes. You know what I'm saying? Hit those shares. Don't just watch a match and dip. You know what I mean? And respect the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them have. You know what I'm saying, dude, well, respect them whether or not they have a dude or not. Just respect the ladies, you know what I mean? And yeah, man, that, if you can do that, then you can pretty much get on. We also have a group chat and a group page for you to cut your promos on. If you want to, you know what I'm saying, show people you can talk that shit. You know, because all of that affects your push. Your participation affects your push. So if you feel like you can do that, man, just hit me up and we can definitely get you in. Or you can just message the page, bro, I got you. John coming through with those shares. Okay, him and Sherman. With the back door on those shares. Stay sipping. Stay sipping. Alise Anderson may be down for good. 
And Juan kicks out. Damien couldn't even put him out. That dude right there got heart. That dude has heart. Juan got heart. And Rob is trying to fight back. He's trying to fight back. Oh, that is a $20,000 fine. $20,000 fine for dropping a cutter. Now, there are a few who were grandfathered in who was here early with it. But for all newcomers and people who coming in, no Stone Cold Stunners, no RKO's, no cutters of NT kind. None whatsoever. Mike say we all sipping, man. I know that. I know that's right, man. I know that's right. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Matter of fact, matter of fact, G give me one, give me, give me one second, y'all. Actually, you know what? Nah, we too loud right now. That shit can wait. That shit can wait. We in this thing. Matter of fact, um, hold on, give me one sec, y'all. Sorry, y'all had to text the boss there. You know what I'm saying? Business calls. You know, got to do what it do. Y'all, right now on this poll, are you kidding me? Right now, Blacked Out Label is the favorite? Blacked Out Label leading the poll with 53%. No, 56%. 80 proof, only 44%. Nine votes for Blacked Out Label. Seven votes for 80 proof. And Blacked Out Label with the dub. Blacked Out Label gets the dub. Now 2-0 and o here in DTKA Promotions, 80 proof, 1-1. One and one. I wonder what's this, uh, I wonder if this affects tonight. So with that development there and the Tag Team Championship match we have later tonight, y'all, I, I got, we got to see. We got to see what's going on. That was some good shit, though. That was definitely some good shit. Those two tag teams fought they ass off. And right to, just right to the outside, no regard for his own body. Didn't even protect himself. Just went down with that. Mm. On it. I mean, it looked nasty. Like mustard. It looked nasty like mustard. And Rob Anderson. You left my ass out. I told y'all, 80 crew, go get your wine. Spritz this fucking. Oh, damn. Omar coming in hot. Omar coming in hot. Holy shit. Oh, yo. Eddie Proof, y'all just gonna let Chris 420 clown y'all like that? I know y'all got, I know y'all better than that. Up next, y'all, we have Ricky Goldsmith versus Thomas Magnum. It's going down, y'all. Stay sipping. Hey. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. What's happening? What's happening? Or oh, what's up? Or oh, what's up? Or oh, what's up? Up next, y'all, we have Ricky Goldsmith versus Tommy Magnum coming up right now. Yes, y'all know it. It's been all kinds of shit going down, all kinds of back and forth and whatnot, you know. And yeah, oh, oh is, that, is that what I see? Is that what I see? Is that what I see? Yes, it is, y'all asked. Damn it, I delivered. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up for you live right now so you can see it. Just so you can see it. Yes, you are seeing it right. Yes, y'all are seeing it right. The next pay-per-view is... Why the hell did that just happen? I don't know. We're going to fix that. Boom. Just like that. Straight out of UK, live in the UK, April 11th. Yes, we even bring the Kool-Aid overseas. April, no, 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 my bad. That is the wrong date. April, you know what? Fuck that. You know what? Cancel that. Straight out of UK is coming, but it is not April 11th. It is April 21st. I got to go back, fix the graphic and shit like that. I think I probably grabbed the wrong one. That's my bad, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Give me give me a mulligan for it. I tried to bring it to you. I, I tried to bring it to you, but you know what I'm saying? Just, just got to update that flyer real quick. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got to update that flyer real quick. John pulling up those cubs. We going to the UK? Yes, we are. 
Yes, we are. Y'all already know. Y'all already know now. Right now, Boss is still uh, sewing up the location. And it's not because, oh, you guys went to the pay per view and don't have a location. No. Can y'all believe that word of mouth about DTKA promotions has linked overseas? They want us. We are being bidded on. There are multiple cities bidding on us. We got London bidding on us. We got Manchester bidding on us. We got Liverpool bidding on us, y'all. We got France, uh, Paddy bidding on us. Do you hear me? A lot of people want DTKA promotions to come their way. You know what I'm saying? But again, it is April 21st. April 21st. Not the 11th. April 21st. I'm gonna say fish and chips for everybody. You know damn well your ass ain't buying. You must you must got caught up on your back pay now. You must you must have got caught up on the back pay. Not, not so much. Not so much. I see you done gave Ricky Goldsmith some of your baby oil. Homie coming through, slicker than come on a gold too. God dang it, dog. Ah, man, can you, yo, between him and MBI, who y'all think got the bigger bank account? Who got the bigger bank account? Ricky Goldsmith or MBI? He said, yeah, that 1400 hit. Oh, you got yours? You got yours? Ain't that a bitch? A motherfucker who owes uh, back pay on child support and still paying child support. Get his shit before the motherfucker sitting right here, you nice and pretty clean. Ain't this some shit? They out here buying Bitcoin. Don't say, uh, I do. Hey. <laughs> you say they out here buying Bitcoin. Thomas Magnum making his way to the ring, strutting on them boys. Walking down to the ring like a straight up G, y'all. If y'all missed last week, Ace and Buck Perfect Threat and went ahead and brought Vengeance in. You can see it on the shorts right there representing. Su surprised he came down solo. I'm surprised Ace and his folks in the building, but you know, maybe he say, hey, yo, 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 I got this. I, I got this. You know, but let me show him I don't need the crew. And that's a good baby face move. I, I, I applaud that. I applaud that. I salute that. I salute that. <laughs> Buck Logan said, fuck Tom Selling. Damn, ain't that some shit. Ain't that some shit. That boy, wow. That boy, why wow. he called that man Tom Selling. I'm done. I'm done. No, you didn't, dog. Marlon says, we aren't done. We have to fix the nonsense perfect threat created. Oh, it will be. It will be. Y'all know. Y'all know how we do. Oh, good, but I am definitely, definitely ready to see what Vengeance is going to do going forward. Definitely ready to see what they're going to do. It seems that Ace and the people who he brought in, remember, Psycho also came in. You know, it looks like he's had a few people have a change of attitude. Ace used to be, I would call him a top hero. I mean, he has the best record here in DTKA promotions. Um, he's holding on to that intercon intercontinental belt for a while. I mean... Damn, is he not the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion right now? I mean, he's been defending the shit out that thing. But, you know, so loving the loving the face turn, man. Good to see new attitude from Ace and the squad and some newcomers as well. Because y'all saw Mars join, and for a second we thought he had joined Perfect Threat, but it was like, nah. Ace, Ace was plotting and scheming. He was plotting and scheming on him. I see you worked us, bro. You you worked us, bro. We fell for it. We fell for it. Ricky trying to grab the legs. Magnum says no. Tries to go for the same move that Damien went for and couldn't quite get it. Y'all, Rude Boy Rufus may have to train y'all on that. Y'all ain't got that icy already. Y'all ain't got that iced up already. Buck Logan say some good wrestling to start this thing. Appreciate it, man. And I agree. I have to agree. The talent is putting on a hell of a show already. I mean... I'm entertained. I hope y'all are entertained so dang much. I'm looking for my own L. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. If you don't, sorry. What's going on, my sippers? Hey, appreciate everybody dropping in. Hey, make sure y'all are hitting those likes, hearts, smiley faces, dropping your boy those reactions. Stay sipping with us. Don't forget to also subscribe and hit that notify bell on YouTube. Drink the Kool-Aid. 
He says, so when is Magnum's mustache gonna get his separate entrance? Nah, Lauren. Nah, Lauren, don't do him like that, bruh, bruh. Don't do him like that, bruh, bruh. He says, I want Billy the Kid in the match. Really? Really? Damien calling out Billy D. I don't know. We'd have to see what happens with the developments after tonight with that triple tag team match for the uh, tag team championships and see exactly how we go. But maybe, man, maybe. We'll see. We'll see for sure. Apron mm. DDT delivered by Thomas Magnum on the fucking apron. How is Ricky still up on his feet? Dude. Dude, sometimes you gotta know just to win the lay the fuck down and not get up. Can't win all them shits, man. You can't do it. You can't do it, man. You can't win them all. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never Y'all know the motherfucking tones. Y'all know the tones. You know what I'm saying? Try to get Ricky Goldsmith this game so he can stay. You know what I'm saying? Keep that gold in his possession. You know what I'm saying? We don't want that bank account to overdraft, y'all. But y'all, I don't think I see. Maybe I missed. Who y'all think has the bigger? You know what I'm saying? Who had, whose money's longer? NBI or Ricky Goldsmith? He's coming to take all your spots. <laughs> Hey, he says, hey, I like this camera view. Really? Really? Okay, so, I, so I'm looking good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking good. You know what I mean? Not red now like last time. You know, I told y'all all we had to do was tweak it. You know, no fuzziness or nothing like that on the sides. Everything is good. You know, just got to polish it up. As I, trust me, I already know. It's going to come with time. It's going to come with time. We're going to get better. He said, it don't matter. Magnum still gonna get whooped. Wait. The big bad baby daddy Ali rooting for Ricky Goldsmith. Now, I, I know this ain't just because y'all tag. See, the thing is, he know Ricky is loaded. You see, he know Ricky loaded, so he like, bruh. I was glad to be paid for 1400 next week for 1400 days. Even though my 1400 hit already. You know, I'm so used to giving it to all uh, 53 of my kids that... You know, I, I had to stun on myself a little bit. Oh my gosh! That was looked like it was supposed to be a chop, but it was an elbow right to the neck. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Thomas Magnum, don't murder the guy! Thomas, don't murder him! Ricky Goldsmith back up to his feet. Jumps over Magnum. Oh, we got the homie. Be the in the building! Overdrafted Ricky Goldsmith's bank account. Oh, he said bullshit. He's like, bitch, my money long. He said, bitch, my money long. Oh my gosh, Pimp Panda Justice. Did not know that Ricky Goldsmith did the finances for Mr. Luscious. Holy shit. Holy shit. I mean, he hit him with a paw and then turned around and just. And I have my money like shit. Just eat that spear and make him fit. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he ate it. Yeah. He, he on his ass right now. Oh, rocker dropper to Thomas Magnum. I'm surprised he ain't sipping after that one. I am surprised. <laughs> Victor's like, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> yeah, man. It be like that, man. He said the stock dropper. I love it. I love it. I can vibe with it. I can vibe with it. Oh, caught him up. Caught him up with a flipping senton to Ricky Goldsmith. 
Thomas picks him up. Y'all, what a match here. They are going back and forth for real, for real. Loving it. This has not let us down one bit. They've been talking crazy shit in the chat, going back and forth. They, these two, just like the tag team match we just saw, also debuted last week. And y'all, the shit is real. DTKA Promotions is lit. You know what I mean? We got newcomers coming in talking shit. We got old heads talking shit. We got people who've been here a while, ain't doing shit, talking shit. You know what I mean? Like, we live. Hey, I agree. They going in in. Yellow Mountain said, nope, not today. Not today. Didn't know Dikembe Mutombo was in this bitch. You like DJ over there sipping his damn self. It's all good. I sip with your brother, you know. Ricky Goldman, oh no, dropped it again. Went back to the ATM, say I forgot to make another deposit. My bad, withdrawal. Yo, we may have to sue this man for identity theft. How do you go into another man's bank account twice in the same day in less time than it takes to save money on your car insurance? Damn, and another spear for Tommy Man to win it. Oh shit. Yo. Yo, these two are going at it. These two are going at it. He says, Shh. Is that it? Is that it? Up, oh, Ricky Ghostman say, Hell no. Nah. You see how this baby oil oh, motherfucker? I can slide out of anything and slide into anything. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ricky Goldsmith with the tackle. While Magnum was on the outside, uh-oh, Ricky looking to fly. Ricky looking to fly. I believe I can fly. And busted him wide open. Ricky Goldsmith with the dub. Holy hot damn. He said, no, oh, no, he's stepping up the truck. So disrespectful. Damn! Now one and one. While my man's of oh, Magnum is let's check his record here. Thomas Magnum is now one and one, so now they both have a tied record. Pull up. Hey y'all, it's me, Yellow Mountain, giving a special shout out to DTKA Promotions. Y'all stay tuned. Up. It's your boy Billy DJ Kid, and here to remind you to hit up Drink the Kool Aid Promotions here on Facebook Live Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time with your host Archie Red. It's gonna be the sickest wrestling show there is on the internet. You won't be disappointed, you know what I'm saying? So tune in. You heard? Oh, it's your boy L. Tommy from Frozen Orange Gaming. I got a quick shout out to my guy, RG Red, over at Drink That Kool-Aid Podcast. A new show coming live on Sundays at 5. Sorry to cut you off, Tommy, but looks like we got some crazy ass action backstage. Looks like <gasps> our King of the Indies champion and Tyler Connor are going at, what the hell is that? What the, what are they beefing for? What the hell is they problem? What the hell is, what the hell is they problem? What in the world? Holy shit, thank you, Connor. Oh, he just punched Tyler Connor out the sky. Yo, Tyler Connor say he coming for that belt. Tyler Connor say he coming for that belt. Oh, oh damn, dude. Thank you for the 100 stars, man. Yo, y'all was balling today. Y'all got your boy balling. I feel like I got that 1,400. I ain't got the 1,400 yet, but I'm feeling like I got I'm... it. Thanks, Daryl. I appreciate that, man. Stay sipping. We in this thing. We in this thing. Goes for the suplex to the outside. Oh, all in the bag. Don't know who getting that interview, but your ass might want to move. <laughs> he says, LOL, I should and drain his finances in the mind. Heck yeah, Rosa, do that. Do that. Get them funds. Get them funds. Yes, Ricky J, that was L. Tommy. Watson, yes it was, yes it was. <laughs> he said, cause you ugly, you get stars. <laughs> Already my guy, 
Hey, I'm all, I'm all bad. Hey, whatever makes the paper, bro. Whatever makes the paper, man. You know, it got to do it. Got to make it do what they do, man. He say, um, Archie, for a second, your voice was taken over by the spirit of Alvin and the Chipmunk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That's our little shout out thing. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know I can do that, right? Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that, right? Like, I can just, like, I can change my voice and shit, right? Like, y'all know that, right? Like, it, it, it's no thing. You know, like, I does this. Speaking of, there was one. Daryl Green, thanks for that like as well, man. Po whoa! Sock Puppet Restaurant Manager, this beating is sponsored by Bishop's Burgers Bar and Grill. Get your cheesy perfect burger and a free glass of wine with your order. Y'all, they done took this into the boss's office. Oh, shit. They better not mess up no furniture. Careful with the briefcase. Tyler has a... Oh, drop the champ down. But he's not done just yet. He is not done just yet. And dropped a spear of his own. Yo, the spears are in full effect tonight. Mirror image. With the suplex, grabbing the leg as well. Claw, thanks for that. Appreciate that like, man. Let's see, I just wanna, you know what I'm saying? Let y'all, let y'all know a thing or two. You know what I'm saying? Like I can change it. I can change it if I want to. No, I'm saying I can change it if I want to. But I ain't gonna do it. I'm saying I ain't gonna do it like that. Tyler Connor. Lays out the Knockout Kings champion backstage. I say, boy. I say, boy. Does that mean what I think it means? Tyler Connor coming for that gold. Tyler Connor making a statement and coming for that gold. Mateo, what's going on, man? What's going on? Thanks for the like. Pull up. Let's get it. He said, has the mirror been broken? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Did you break with that fall? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> he said, got the Tron voice. <laughs> Ain't no saying, just switching up. You know what I'm saying? No saying, doing what it do. Doing what it do. You know. <laughs> There's your divine rapture leader. Yup. Matter of fact, hey. But Let's say hello, welcome in, man. Welcome in, y'all. Let's go ahead and get some cups pulled up right now for my man Mateo. I know he didn't hit, you know what I'm saying, to follow, but that's because my man been sipping. You know what I'm saying? OG, triple OG, stay sipping. L. Tommy Watson dropping in with those likes, man. Thank you, thank you. Already, what's good with you, y'all? Up next, we have Ragnar, Kobayashi, Iceman Nate Mack, Mr. Luscious, and Psycho. Let's get this thing going. Now, Psycho must have, uh, he must have been off on vacation or something and not have got the memo when all this went down. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. He ain't changed his gear yet, you know, but it is what it is. You say, Draven is arriving to the DTKA arena, pulling up, asking if he got any victims. Where they at? Where they at, though? Okay. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, L. Tommy, I'll see you with them shares. L. Tommy Watson. Hey, L. Tommy, what's going on, man? OG in the house, what's good? Frozen Orange Gaming in the building. Looks like we got the GSMW staff in the house, the CEW staff in the house. You know what I'm saying? All our partners in crime is in the motherfucking house. Two, nine. Stay shipping. Corey Davis, thanks for those stars, man. Corey Davis, thanks for those stars, man. Y'all spoiling your boy today, man. You must have got that 1400 too, man. You get that 1400? I ain't got that 1400. But I feel like I got that 1400 today. Thanks, y'all. Ragnar making his way to the ring with Thor's hammer. Looking like he mean business, and I think he does. Making his way to the ring. Say, I got your victim swinging, son. Wait, what? Wait, what? Is that what I think it is? I don't know why that sounded like a D's nuts joke. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe my hair. I don't know. That sounded like a D's nuts joke. 
Jimmy Carr in the building. Yo, what is going on, man? How you doing, broski? How you doing, broski? Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for sipping with us. You know what I mean? Glad that we got everybody up in here pulled up. Y'all, we have 583 comments, 46 reactions, 116 shares, y'all. Stay sipping. Also, y'all, again, show you. And his opponent. We got those drink the Kool Aid trays from coming Kansas in. From City, Missouri. You know, weighing in. We got the uh, over like that tray. Pounds. This is, we got some uh, the Ice Man. We got some chin up on it. Matt. You know what I'm saying? But I'll grab my other tray and let you see that one. Alfonso with the like. What is good? Thanks for sipping with us, man. How you doing? Po up. Po up. Ricky J says, yo, where's the poll for this match? This is a five-man match. We can't put a poll up until there are at least four left in the ring. But with this being a five-man finisher match, uh, we can't put a poll up until we got four left. Y'all, Iceman Nate Mack. Not fucking with him right now. Not fucking with him right now. This motherfucker, after the whole Rude Boy Rufus incident and shit like that, I can't get, I can't get with him. Can't get with him. And yeah. And yeah. Hold on, you gotta hit up with that. And yeah. And yeah. Thanks for the life and the share. Jimmy Carson, said he's smoking that good, good. You know it. You know it. We never smoking trash. Always that good grass. Always. Walking down the ramp, making his way to the ring. Kobayashi, y'all. Kobayashi, y'all. Somebody who, while has been impressive, needs to do a little something, something if he really want to uh, make a dent in that intercontinental division. You know, came in pretty good, pretty good, okay, okay. But kind of has tapered also. You know? Appreciate everybody dropping in. Thanks to everybody dropping in sipping with us today, y'all. Thank y'all, I appreciate it. Y'all, we got 49 reactions already. Thank y'all for sipping, man. That is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all gotta excuse me, I'm gonna have to hit my meds. Psycho, I'ma skip that because I'm pretty sure you ain't tried to pretty sure you ain't repping that no more, so we went ahead and we said get that out of there. Matter of fact, we're gonna have to change that gear. You know what I'm saying? Get at me about that. That ain't available on the uh on the DCKA shop. Dallas, you know what I'm Texas. saying? Weighing in uh -oh. at 206 pounds. Smooth Mr. Luscious, the mouth of the south. I'm sorry, Pimpin' Sis Man, Pimpin' Sis Man, Pimpin'. Mr. Luscious dropping down and showing up. Ain't got his hoes with him tonight. Probably got him out there working. But y'all know how Pimp do. Got to keep your pimp hand strong. You know what I'm saying? Got to keep those gators nice. Well, my bad. Because we stay on foot by the Stacey Adams. You know what I'm saying? Pimpin'. You know what I mean? Got a Marshall. Claw says Kobayashi equals DTK's answer to Takamichi Noku. Claw says the Psycho equals the newest member of Retribution. Oh, nah, he done did that. Newest member of Vengeance here in DTKA, actually. A pimp named Luscious. Hey, yeah, it's a pimp named Luscious. You got it. It's a pimp named Luscious. 
Angie, what's good with you? How you been, though? Oh, snap. Savage say, you need him to have an accident, Red? Shit, I mean, I ain't the one to put a hit out on somebody or nothing. I mean, but I mean, I wouldn't be upset if something happened to him. I'm just saying, though. You know, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, though. You know, it is. Just do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do, man. As long as it don't come back. Matter of fact, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. No, I don't know nothing. I, I don't know nothing. Wait, who is this? Who is this? What? Prank caller. Prank caller. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, but yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him all the way up. Perry. Perry. Dropping in with the like and the share. What's going on, Main Street? What's going on, Main Street? Yo, Kobe, y'all, she just laid Iceman's ass out. Give it to him. Give it to him. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Whoop his ass. Right now, Ragnar and Mr. Lush is going at it in the middle of the ring. Ragnar tied up against the ropes. Mr. Lush pulls him off. Got a little back suplex there. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Keeping it old school. Kicking it old school. Psycho and Iceman Nate Mack fighting over Kobe, y'all. She's like two piranhas on a dead fish. Mr. Luscious looks like he was trying to get that overhead belly to belly in, but Ragnar had other plans, saying, no, sir, you're gonna have to wait on that. Gonna have to wait on that. Psycho mugging the competition, going straight to under the ring. Okay, he grabbing that furniture. Psycho ready to move some furniture. Okay, okay. Yeah, Perry, what's good with you, man? Uh, just out here doing it, you know what I'm saying? Holding it down. P.O.P. Holding it down. See you with those cups and popping bottles, okay? Wait, is that chicken and Kool-Aid? Claude, did you just drop chicken and Kool-Aid? You motherfucker, you. That's funny though, that's some funny shit. Dan Jones with the like. Oh, and Mr. Luscious is out. Mr. Luscious is done for. Holy hot damn. Looks like our first person to be eliminated. Wow, that man is now 3 and 10. Yo, Mr. Lusses, you slipping on your pimping, man. You, you slipping on your pimping, man. You, you slipping, man. You guys got to come on with it now. Iceman with a punch to the gut on Ragnar. Get some up. Oh, my God. With a cross arm suplex. Y'all see that? Iceman putting in the work. Got to give it to him. Meanwhile, Psycho and Kobayashi going at it. Almost up the ramp. Throwing a little bit of combos. Mr. Luscious, him and his walk of shame. Passing them on by. And up, that looks like Ragnar is done as well. Eliminated right on that table. He is now 0-6. No dubs. No dubs for that man. You know what? We're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna toss a dog a bone. You know what I'm saying? And give him a one-on-one -on -one match next week. And Kobayashi is out. Yo, we just going back to back in this some bitch. Holy shit! Kobayashi now three and seven. Yellow Mountain dropping in with those shares. Trey Times. Okaswa with the like. I see you sipping. I see you sipping. Ho up. Got Mean Streak and Savage in the house. Yo, Perry. Yo, a uh, bit of breaking news, man. And, uh, in case you missed it. Since the um, Outlaws have vacated the Tag Team Championships, there will be a triple threat tag team match for the titles between Mean Savages, MBI, and the 420 Click tonight. Yes, they changed their name. It is no longer Click 420. It is now the 420 Click. It is what it is, y'all. But yes, championship match tonight. Omar pulling up those cups. Mike say do it, man. You know, that's all we know how to do, man. Y'all, I'm sorry on this one. I am going to have to root for the psycho on this one. Got to root for the psycho on this one because I can't root for Nate Matt. Just can't do it. Can't do it, man. I just can't do it. I, just, I can't do it. But I got to say, he's on his head right now, though. Iceman is on a psycho with the uppercut elbow. Punches him while running by. Yo, that's some G shit right there. 
that's some G shit right there. You running and you just, that's the equivalent to the dude who was running on his bike, hopped off, punched the dude and ran back and caught his bike and kept on pedaling and took off. That type shit. You talk about savagery, that's some fucking savagery right there. So disrespectful. Uh-oh, Iceman feeling himself. A little beat to the chest there. Looking dead, Ed Psycho punches him off the apron. Psycho falls to the ground, grabbing his back. Is he hurt? Is he hurt? Iceman making use of that furniture that Psycho went and grabbed earlier and hit him with it right across the torso. That abdominal region has to be sore. Psycho looking to make a comeback, grabs him by the neck like that's his stepson. Head smash on the apron. Psycho looking to be pissed. Psycho looking a little pissed off right here. Has him up. No, Iceman says, no, sir. I can see it now in his head right now. Psycho is like, you done pissed my off. Just like that. Iceman trying to go for it again, but no. Psycho saw that coming from a mile away. Iceman looks like he's in trouble. Bradley with the like. Thank you kindly, man. Got him with the clothesline, and yes, my pick one. Iceman Nate Mack takes that L, and I ain't even mad about it. Let me go ahead and drop that on him where his ass said He now 8-4. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's that shit we like to see. That's that shit we like to see. Psycho, on the other hand, is now 7-6. and six. One win above 500, y'all. J Real Banks with the like. What's happening? What's happening with you? Thanks for the like, man. Pull up. All three mean savages in the building. You damn straight. In the house. Angie pulling up those cups with the hashtag DTKA. Say J Hitter. J Hunt is here. What's good with you, bro? Hey, glad you came through, man. Glad you came through. That's what I'm talking about. Say we need a fan to run in and shake Nate Mack. Yo, this is the one time you ain't got to worry about the nation. You ain't got to worry about security. You ain't got to worry about nobody coming in and interfering if a fan was to come in and do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, I wouldn't be tripping at all. Buck Logan says, I'm setting up the GoFundMe for that fu uh, fan's bail money right now. Hey, shit, you got my donation. You got my motherfucking donation. Shit, what you need? What you need? Up next, y'all, we have... Buckeye versus Tory Lynn, an MMA style cage match. Yes, it would either be knockout or submission, y'all. It is going down. Yes, you damn right, you see it. Buckeye versus Tory Lynn. Pull up those cups, y'all. This is about to be lit. This is about to be all the way lit. <laughs> he said, Psycho wins, needs new gear. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? We need to set up a GoFundMe for him, too. Nah, you know what? Fuck that. We don't need to set up a GoFundMe. Ace, you the leader of that camp. Get your man some new gear. J Real Banks with the follow. J Real Banks, new simple. What's going on, man? Y'all, let's see those hashtag DTKAs and those cups in the chat for our new simple. J Real Banks, y'all. Let's go ahead and hear it for him. Let's welcome him in and let's do it with style. Welcome in, man. Thanks for sipping with us. Oh, whoa. What the hell is an MMA match? Yes, you in a hell in a cell, but it is knockout and submissions only. Only. Oh, and Nancy dropping in with 50 of them stars. Pull up. Pull up then. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, my cups are running over. For real. Y'all just doing your boy all kinds of good ways. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Nancy, thanks for those stars. Thank you, sir. 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 William with the knuck if you buck, hashtag, and the cup to follow. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, sit, man. Tory Land pouring up those cups. Buck Logan pouring up those cups. Claude as well, I see it. Corey Davis says, let's go, Buckeye. Okay, okay. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Who y'all got? Who do y'all got in this one? Do y'all got Buckeye or do y'all got Tory Lynn? This, this is a tough one. It is definitely a tough one. Let's go ahead and check the poll. Let's check the poll. What are we looking like? 
Buckeye with nine votes. Tori Lynn with five. Okay. Y'all, this one is... I And I can't... I get it. I get it. Buckeye's been here. Buckeye's been here. People have seen her. Last time we saw Tori Lynn, she took an L. But my counter to that would be that that's every reason why Tori Lynn could win this match. She took an L last time. You think she's not going to be motivated? You think she ain't going to be ready to get her foot and knee deep off in that ass? Like, I, I can see it. I would not be surprised if Tori Lynn came out with the W. But Buckeye coming in heavy with the fan. Perry says, yeah, got to go with Buckeye on this one. For sure, man, for sure. I can't blame you for that. I can't knock you for that. Can't knock you for that at all. Klaus says, go, Tori, go. Got those go, Tori, go chants going. Tori pulling up those cups and flexing on them. Sean pulling up those cups with those ice cubes, y'all. You know he has to keep it ice cold. As long as Iceman Nate Mac ain't handy. Jay Real say Tory Lynn about to lay the smack down. Okay, okay. That fandom going up. That fandom going up. So, so Tory Lynn definitely got some fans out there. It ain't quiet. It ain't quiet out there for us. She say, don't sleep. Don't sleep on it. She about that life. Buck Logan says that would be a good one. Yeah, it would, man. It would be. Let's go ahead and jump this thing off. Right now, oh, with a mat slam right out the gates from Tory Lynn. Buckeye seems to be angered by that. Throws her into the turnbuckle. Forearm from Tory. Oh, clotheslines are right out the ring. Somebody go check on her. Uncle Charles, go check on her. Nah, you know what? Yeah, back your ass up. You probably scared. You been getting fucked up tonight. I get you. I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Corey Davis says, Mr. Davis is on with my old client pointing to the ring and walks away. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mr. Davis is in here speaking. Buckeye with that single leg clothesline saying, you feel me? Y'all hear the fans getting rowdy and loud. Mike say, get the blood flowing. Get the blood flowing. You know, it got to pull them cuffs up. Got to pull them cuffs up. Tory Lynn with the cross face right out the gate on Tory Lynn. I mean on Buckeye. My bad, I called it wrong. Suplex. Suplex from Buckeye. Tory Lynn moves right out the way. Slides with a neck breaker. Walked right into it, it looked like. Nice reversal from Tory Lynn. Iris Whip. Drop down from Buckeye. Leap over from Buckeye. Another leap over. That time, Tori Tory Lynn's like, nah, I done had enough of this running and shit. You ain't about to do me like they do in New Japan. Fuck around and get tired out and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Fuck around have your ass hitting the ropes for about 10 minutes. Sitting there going every which way. Probably even running to the turnbuckle. And y'all know if it's, uh... Y'all know if it's, uh... Yoshihashi, y'all know how he be. Uh, y'all know he like to go and, uh... Uh, no, nah, Yano, my bad. I'm thinking of the wrong person. My bad, I'm thinking of Yano. Y'all know he like to run over to the turnbuckle, untie it, run over, hit you with it. Buck Logan, thanks for the like, bro. Looks like Buckeye delivered a nasty knee to Tory Lynn there, and then an elbow, elbow and forearm to the face. Tory Lynn looking about like, oh my gosh, Buckeye is abusing the face right now. Hold on. Hold on. She got a man who loves her. Don't damage the face. Watch the face now. Yellow Mountain pouring up those cups. Saying about those cage matches are fire. Yes, they are lit. Big lit. Winner gets to beat Cornette's ass. Yeah, man, I saw that shit that, uh, about that comment that he posted. And I understand people... Try to, you know, because he got his cult fans as well talking about, oh, that was just Cornette talking about the character. Nah, nah, nah. I can't let Cornette off the hook. And I'm a Cornette fan myself. But sometimes he be doing too much, man. He be doing too much sometimes. And I'm actually glad she fired back on his ass. 
Uh, we're talking about Penelope Ford over in AEW. I'm actually glad she fired back at him, man, because he be, Jim Cornette be, I feel like he just be doing that shit for shock value sometimes. That and that motherfucker just crazy like that, because y'all know Jim Cornette don't give a fuck. Troy Land pulling up those cups, nasty. Nice overhead suplex from Tory Lynn, raising up that fist, saying it's time to rock. That was terrible. I can do it better because I ain't got cotton mouth from hitting them blunts. You know what it is. Yellow Mountain watches from the locker room. Fans putting up signs. Yo, I'm going to have to hold up. It is way too hot up in here. The fire is making your boy dehydrated. Irish whip to the other turnbuckle from Buckeye. Went for the splash. Couldn't quite get it. Buckeye moved out the way. Tory Lynn moved out the way. My bad. Got a third row guillotine there. Buckeye slow to make it to her feet. Oh my gosh. Buckeye down right on the DTKA Promotions logo. And Tory Lynn is looking for the submission. Will Buckeye tap? Is Buckeye gonna tap? She says, nah, you fucking crazy? Back to her feet. Goes up and over DDT to top it off. You gotta love a good DDT, don't you? I mean, you have to love a good DDT. I mean, it, it, it's like Jake the Snake. Fucking genius. It's the fucking genius. How do you spell DDT? The end. It's over. That's it. Wrap that shit up, B. He says the one I don't know why they put so much hops in it is if we don't know that we're going to have a nervous problem with competition. Nah, oh, shit. All right, I see y'all. But going, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, keep keep, keep it out the chat now. We're going to go ahead and move on past it. Let's rock on and do the damn thing. And one more talk. Oh, my damn. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all she was coming back motivated. Tory Lynn now one and one. Buckeye now five and eight. Not a bad record, but really need to, you know what I'm saying, turn things around here. The cool with the light. Thanks for the like, man. Glad you're loving the Kool-Aid. Glad you're sipping with us. Pull up, stay sipping with us always. Always, man. You already know how we do. Live here every Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know we stay pulled up. And I want to thank everybody for coming up in here sipping with us, man. We got plenty of more show to go. Let's get it. She said it. Don't sleep. Definitely. He was my number one favorite as a kid. Everybody's got a price, the million dollar man. I say I would do the lab, but I can't do it like Tandy Biasi. If you can't do the lab like Tandy Biasi, you just gotta. Man. Angie says, great match. That is how, see, that's how you do things. That's, see, Angie knows how to take her L. You know what I'm saying? Whether she wins or she loses, if she wins, yeah, she's gonna be talking her shit, doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? But I love seeing that. I love seeing that, yo. Even when I take an L, guess what? I can still come over there, shake your hand, and keep you pushing. Love the sportsmanship. Do that thing. Stay sipping, y'all. Don't fucking go nowhere. Off. Let's go ahead and go up next, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We got all oh, shit. My eye. Ah, my eye. Nah, I'm fucking with y'all. That shit did hurt though. Hit my pierce. <laughs> Pull up, y'all. See, that's what we do. See, that's what happened when you live. Anything can happen when you live. None of that tape shit. You know what I'm saying? Up next, y'all. We got Big Brother versus Draven Crimson, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all, what do y'all think? Y'all like, y'all actually like getting Wrestle Talk out the way at the beginning? You know what I'm saying? And let the show flow. Let me know what y'all think about. Do y'all like Wrestle Talk, the whole deal at the beginning or in the middle? Let me know what y'all think about that. Pull up. So we got Bushido Brown versus The Crow. What? Claude Roasted. Claude Roasted. Okay. 
out here flexing on them. Got the glasses, looking at the crowd, talking about respect the culture. Fire. Here we go. Making his way to the ring from Chicago. Strutting on them. Wait, Wade. what? What is this? Oh shit! Sinister Mr. Wade has got a sledgehammer. Attacks Big Brother from behind. Damn, could this be payback from what he did to Bishop? Oh, Mr. Wade then came back and got revenge on oh, Big Brother for the murder. Y'all, yes, we had a murder last week on fucking TV. Yes, we had a motherfucking murder, y'all. A motherfucking murder on live TV. Wade done went crazy. I mean, came out and decked him. That was all he needed. I mean, I'm glad they didn't drag that on because it it, it be it be like that sometimes, you know? Like it, it be like it be like that sometimes, you know? Like how can I say it? How can I say it? Um uh, should only take a couple times to get hit with a sledgehammer before your ass is down. Like, you don't need a motherfucker getting hit about ten times and then giving me a fucking match. You feel me knocking? Like, that shit rocks, though. I mean, that motherfucker came in. Now, I mean, he came in with the heat. Just bopped. I mean, he just beamed his ass. Like, damn, bro. For real, for real? Like, for real, for real? I, I didn't know you felt that way. Didn't know he felt that way. Thank y'all for sipping with us. Appreciate everybody sipping. Up next, we got Jackie Tyson, America Tavez, Sonya M, and Siren about to go head to head in a Miss Four Way Falls Count Anywhere match. It's about to get lit. Co up then. See him pop it on him. Okay. Okay. You know what? I would love to see. Jackie Tyson versus Nerd. Y'all see she mean business. You know what I'm saying? Her got the, you know I'm saying? Got the nice perm in and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta slick it back. You know, you gotta, gotta, gotta slick it back. You know, you know, gotta hold it down. Gotta hold it down. Hey, say, say. What's happening? What's happening? What's good? Hey, Young Mix, thanks for the like, man. Thanks for the like. Appreciate you sipping with us, man. Appreciate everybody pulling up those cups. Give me one second real quick, y'all. Yes, we also fixed that shit. I can actually get the fuck up and walk back without the shit getting all fucking... Sorry, y'all. I'm just, I'm just happy, man. I'm just happy. And that's because y'all be making it rain on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? When y'all be making it rain on the nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, doing all that shit like that, that's what we do. We turn that shit around, we invest it, and that's how we do this shit. Like this fucking stream deck that I'm using, no bullshit. This, all this voice change shit that y'all seeing, like this shit right here. Robert Pittman, thanks for sipping with us. Come up, I see you, man. Mario, thanks for the like. Let's get it. Thank y'all, man. Yo, let's see those hashtag DTKAs and get those cups in the chat right now for our slippers. Let's get it. Pull up. Like, I'm not bullshitting y'all. Y'all paid for that shit. That stream thing. Now, I've been having it, but what they gonna use it with my laptop, so I had to wait till I powered up on them boys. You know what I'm saying? I had to power up on them boys, you know. But that's real deal. That, that's that's real deal. So thank y'all, man. I appreciate y'all. Like I really appreciate y'all. Tory Lamb pouring up those cups. Claw talking about turn up. You know how we gonna do, man. John pouring up those cups. Let's get it. America Chavez coming down to the ring, representing everywhere she from. You know what I'm saying? Throwing it up in there. You know what I'm saying? Hitting them with hitting them with the Reagan. Except she's like the overly hyped Reagan when she does it. You know what I'm saying? When the way she. The way she come out there with it, it's, so, it's like over the top. Uh-oh, now this is the part where I shut the fuck up and, you know what I'm saying, hit my shit in here. And from parts unknown. Team America! 
Fuck yeah! That's my shit. Yeah, I fucks with that. <laughs> Jackie Tyson, I'ma go ahead and claim you. Uh-oh, J Real Banks said he won't put a ring on that. J Real Banks said he wanna put a ring on that. Okay, okay. He said he about that. Okay, I, I fucks with it. I fucks with it, my G. Okay, okay. He says, yo, Archie, you look like you ate a high nigga pie. Yeah, hey. Hey, see, what you mean? I didn't I didn't eat that. I didn't just eat that motherfucker. Hey, say, I went to the buffet and just lined up and went in. I went Yokozuna on the high nigga pie buffet. Do you understand? I went Andre the Giant on that buffet. Do you hear me? I went Goku, dropped into the hyperbolic time chamber on that high nigga pie. You want to see? Y'all know what it is. And from Portland, Oregon, the Queen, Sonia McDonald. Y'all, this match is about to be fucking lit. What, what, the, what, 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 what the fuck is up with this shit? What, what's this? Like her and Ragnar in this hammer, like I'm like it's like I'm not bullshit. It's like he be waiting in Gorilla and on her way out, like he just handed to her and shit. You know what I'm saying? You talk about motherfuckers all squatted up and shit. That's some shit right there. Cause I'm sorry, she looking a little, looking a little. You know what I'm saying? Hey Jackie, thanks for the follow. Thanks for sipping with us, y'all. Let's see those cups and hashtags. DTKA, for our new followers. Y'all know how we do. Appreciate you sipping with us. We don't call them followers. We call them siblings. So thanks for sipping with us, man. Pull up. That shit'll get you high, won't it? I'm sorry, that right there. That music right there, you play that in the club, I, I'm, I'm lit. Like, I'm not lying. I'm lit. Like, I'm mosh pitting all day. Yes, no. I, I fucks with rock for real. Y'all know me. Y'all know Alice in Chains is my favorite band and shit. You know what I'm saying? I gets down with the get down. You know what I'm saying? I'd be in there. Yo, so if that song come on and we in the club, boom. Get out the way. That's exactly what you're going to have to do. Because guess what? I'm on 10. It's going to be instantaneous. Like booty tang. Like I'm in there. Bitch. Bow. Sarate, my damey. Do you hear me? Alfonso Allen pouring up those cups, Yellow Mountain with those cups, Rosa with the hashtag DTKAs and the cups. Okay, okay. He passed that joint like a torch, a very, very heavy torch. <laughs> Huge. Siren has Jackie Tyson up on the turnbuckle. Oh, we starting this thing off right with a high risk maneuver. Oh my gosh. An X Factor right off the corner. One. Jackie Tyson kicks out at the one count. That's kind of fierce. Y'all, and, and I'm loving this right here because if you look around, there's a lot of, we got like these women, these women swole. These ain't no, these ain't no small dainty women. You know what I'm saying? Like these women be throwing down. So look at the size of America Chavez. Look at the size of Sonya M. Look at the size of Jackie. Look at Siren. I mean, everything about that is just like, I'm gonna eat your kids and like, like vicious, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think the only person who's probably missing from this, like, as far as stature wise, would probably be either Violet Wolf or Amir Baker. Because I, Amir Baker is like, psh, all off the screen. William with the let's go, hashtag DTKA, that's what I'm talking about. Sip in. Sip in. He said he bust out some Slayer on them hoes. Hey, I fucked with Slayer too, man. And what's even, what's crazy about Slayer, bro, is they still was going at their old age, man. Like, still popping out videos and music, bro. Like, they ain't never let, it, it's wild. It's wild, I'm crazy how long they been going. Like. Who do y'all think has retained more of their fan base? Metallica? Or Slayer. Who has retained more of their fan base? Who do y'all believe has retained more of their fan base? Slayer or Metallica? I've seen Metallica live along with some others, but I haven't seen Slayer. 
Oh my gosh, DDT right on the outside of the apron from Sonya Emma. Amir Baker cannot be with us right now. Yeah, she getting abused right now. She is getting abused right now. Oh my lord. Sonya M, calm down. Don't do it to her. Don't do it to her. <laughs> Amir Baker's height taller than the sun, bitch. Ain't it? Ain't it? It's like freaking Skyscraper Johnson in this bitch. Claude Thomas says, Slayer retired on top, bro. Seeing them live a fucking riot. Yeah, okay. True that, but when was that? That wasn't not too long ago, right? Because I know back in, I saw a new video from them. I want to say, was it? It was either between 2013 and 2015 that I saw it, that they was getting down. He says Metallica for sure, but Slayer shit all over them live hands down. Okay, bet, bet. I ain't gonna knock that. You the second person in the chat to say that for sure. It says, grand, it says grandbaby on the way, brother. It's going down. What? What? Tory Lynn with those cuffs. Oh, who was for? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. J Real Banks say, let's go, Jackie Tyson. He rooting her own. He rooting wifey own. Perry say, I'm so old. I went to Metallica Black Album Tour. I was in grade 11. Oh, shit. Hey, I fucks with that though. Hey, I, I would've given my freaking, I would've given my left nut to be on that motherfucking tour. For real, for real. Like, to be able to see that, I'd have been saying. Shit. Amir Baker. My bad, America Chavez. Sorry, both of their names start with an A. It's out, now six and six. Amir Baker now with the 500 record. Siren with the suplex on Sonya M in the middle of the ring. Jackie Tyson is down right now, you know what I'm saying? Just, just taking a little cat nap on him, you know what I'm saying? She, she, she'll be up in a bit. Siren with a dro low drop kick. Sonya M taking a minute to get up there, ain't she? Taking a little while. Snap suplex from Jackie Tyson. Sends it right back to Siren. She say, I know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't buy it, but I still got the receipt. Came out with a diving elbow and just hope she hit somebody. And Siren hit her with another low drop kick, but this time right to the grill. Sonya M dropping bulldogs and shit. Jackie Tyson up. Should have hit the pin combo. Would have wrapped that up nicely with that Huracan round of pin combo. But you know, it is what it is. Sonya M trying to capitalize off of it and can't quite do it. Not quite. Sonya M landed on Uncle Charles. Y'all, he is getting fucked up tonight. And then she turned around and hit a super kick on Jackie Tyson. Holy hot damn. Y'all, it is going down, down. It is going down, down. Goes for the running clothesline. Not sure what she saw on that one, but she missed completely. Jackie Tyson, dazed. Sonya M throws her over. Jackie Tyson sitting on the apron. Oh, drop kick off the side, and Sonya making her way outside while Siren is up top looking to fly. Uh, should have calculated that better. Should have calculated that one better. I'm pretty sure Sonya wished she could have that one back. I mean, Siren would have wished she could have that one back because those knees, woo, slow. I'm gonna have to check and see if she got arthritis after that one. Savage says, who is the redhead in the face paint? Uh, face paint. That is Sonya M, my good sir. Jerry Brand, yeah, they double teaming, bro. You see it. You see it. They jumping back and forth. Now, granted, they fighting each other now, but you know what I'm saying? There was, you know what I'm saying, some double jumping going on there for a set. Sonya M trying to shake it off. Goes for that side kick to the gut. Couldn't quite get it. Oh no, Sonya M says, no, you're not getting me. Oh, and then she missed Siren completely. And Siren with the 360. Forearm smash right to the dome. Head smash. Yeah, Siren got the better of her on that one. Siren got the better of Sonya M on that one completely. I mean, she countered it, countered the counter, and then got some more in still. Jackie Tyson still ain't got all her faculties together. Yeah, it is not looking good for si uh, Sonya M right now at all, y'all. 
Blacked out, blackout label checking in. What's good, man? What is good? Yo, y'all got the uh, y'all actually got the dub tonight, man. Blacked out, blackout label got the dub tonight. Sonya M's gonna fill that one. Where's Siren going? Where's Siren going? What the hell? She just said time out? Did Siren just say time out and with eyes in the back of her head reverses it, kick to the gut, and a DDT? Got to be more careful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, DDT on the outside again. Yo, she is not giving up. She is not giving up. Kick to the side. Drop toe hole. Just like Sonya M went down with her, too. Picks her up. Tries to go for a spinning back kick. And Siren with a low drop kick to those kneecaps. Boy, those kneecaps. What is wrong with Jackie? Is Jackie done? Claude says, man, hypnosis fucking with Jackie now. Got her all stuck and shit. Dude, something. That's what I'm saying. That's what I think. That's what I'm thinking. I think Black Booty Hole got her again. Black Peppermint Booty Hole got her again. In here fucking with shit. Sonya M is out. She's now 2 and 10. Holy shit. She need to step it up. She need to step it up. For real, for real. That's not it. Oh, and now she snapped and woken up. Jackie Tyson. Oh! Taking Siren down, drags her to the center of the ring. Turns her over on her side like she's about to give her an epidural. Kicks her one time, but can't get the second one in. Siren with the bulldog. Ooh, hey, so we, got, we, might, we might have to check on Jackie's turn. We may have to check on Jackie's turn. Hypnosis had her in a trance. Shit is wild, man. Nancy says, go Siren. Oh, got a little jumping senton there. Siren with the comeback. Okay. Jumps back. Oh, Will Barrel Bulldog right in the middle of the ring. Boy, that DTKA Promotions is getting its face beat all kinds of in the night, y'all. I'm telling you. Crazy. But what's also crazy is we done only had one person spill their Kool-Aid tonight. And that was in the first blood match between Ricky and uh Ricky and Magnum early. Hope we have some more sipping. Look. Like you know, Mike. Looking and looking. Yes, sir. Herbert can run a Jackie Tyson this time goes for the pin combo. Two, three, and got it! Oh my shit! Congratulations, Jackie Tyson. Okay, she doesn't get a lot of wins. She does not get a lot of wins here at DTKA. Jackie Tyson with the dog. That is only her second win. She's now two and eight. I guess that's what happened when her husband shows up. Holy shit. Congratulations, man, that's wild. That is wild. Tory Lane giving the applause. <laughs> He's a bust out that second line. <laughs> I wonder if that hypnosis trance actually helped her though. Bulk Logan. I wonder, man. Never know. That, that's some weird shit. You know what I'm saying? You see what the Fiend be doing on WWE TV. Shit's weird, man. Shit's weird. No, you're like, my wife was showing out. Showed up and showed out. Ricky Rose says, great fucking match. And passed the cup already, bro, ham. All ready. Up next, y'all, we have a false count anywhere match between Great White making his debut for DTKA Promotions against the... Champion CJ Frost. Y'all don't forget it was CJ Frost 
who beat Black Peppermint Booty Hole Face at the last pay-per-view, Blood Drive, out of Chicago. If y'all want to go see that, make sure y'all go check the archive here on Facebook or at the YouTube page. Also, make sure y'all hit that subscribe and notifications. And if you ain't hit those like, heart, smiley faces, or laughing emojis yet, hit them shits. But yeah, we ain't seen my mans in a minute. But way to step out and how about Great White? I mean, for you to show up and for your first match to be against the champ? The DTKA World Champion? Yo, I I'm looking, I'm looking to see something here. I'm looking to see something here. Williamson, let's go, CJ. CJ say, here we go. He filled the spaceship with rocket fuel and loaded it with the warriors. Man, it's, hey, hey, dude's lit. Look at, oh shit, wait, he got fire in the building. He got, all right, hold on, we gotta watch this. I don't do fire. I don't do, I don't do fire, but don't, don't. Bro, don't come over here by the commentary table with that fire, man. Don't do fire, be careful with that shit. Be careful with it. But y'all see him, great white, making his way down to the ring, even though, Hey, I don't get scared a lot, but when you've been caught on fire before, trust me, your ass will be scared. Yes, real life. That, that is the shoot. That is the shoot. That is not bullshit or nothing like that. That's for real. The boy got caught on fire on August 16, 2003. You know what I'm saying? Torso up, man. Like, everybody was just like fucked up. And look at him like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit like that just fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? My hair is the shit sticking up right now. My shit sticking up right now. If I had that 4K, Y'all can see my shit. Hey, say damn, CJ got a fight. Who? Great White. New to DTKA here, making his debut. I said debut. Debut. I'm just fucking up today. Get it together, man. Get it together. Lexi, thanks for the like. Welcome in. Thanks for sipping with us. You know how we do. And his opponent. And CJ holding that beautiful gold. The DTKA World Championship. Stunting on him. Champion. Walking down, Champion. all he see is red. Good claw say hashtag free PBQ. He said the guy smell like pineapple and fish. Now to be honest, I would actually eat some pineapples and then dab into something. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I'd get down with that. I, I can get down with that. I can get down with that. Dude said karate kid music. Get out of here. Doing good, Lexi. Doing good. You know, trying to doing what I do best, you know, and that's entertaining slippers. You know, holding it down. You know, how you been though? How's everything been going on with you and your partner? How y'all been doing? Y'all know but y'all know Bob Logan is like Hall of Fame tier when it comes to the shit talk in the comment section. Like this dude here, man. Claw says, C motherfucking J. Drive this motherfucker, CJ. Todd Fisher, what's good, man? What's good with you? Thanks for pulling up with those cups, man. Glad you love sipping with us, dude. Welcome back. What's happening? J Real Banks says, A Frost, if you lose, you gotta cut your hair. Oh, snap. Uh oh. Don't look like J. Don't look like J Real is a fan of that hairdo. Don't look like he a fan of that hairdo. And look at the height advantage that the Great White has on the champ. Champ says he doesn't give two hot shits about height or body size. Close lines the guy down right off the back and is trying to tear that leg right off the hip. Head smash, y'all. Picks him up and then a shoulder toss from the Great White. Yo, this dude is, this dude's swole. Two motherfucking swole. Klaus say CJ fixing to catch a body tonight. Hey man, he might. He might. I mean, this is a big motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I believe in the championship, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't about to write off this big ass dude who I'm looking at right here. You know what I'm saying? He got dude has a shark on his back. He a shark on his back. Yeah, I really said that shit. A shark on his back. 
Like, he, like you, you don't fuck with people like that. Motherfuckers who get sharks on their backs, the demand the people you want to just like step to and be like, hey, motherfucker, can I hold you cornbread? You, you can't pull that cornbread shit on a motherfucker who got a shark tattoo on their back. You just can't do it. Look at that bulldog from the Great White on CJ. What is he going to be able to do to be able to bounce back and come to? What's he going to do? Yellow Mountain, thanks for those cups. Thanks for those cups. j Real say, nah, Frost, he think he hot, so put him in the freezer. Oh, okay. Okay. j Real Banks, root for CJ Frost on him. Goes for the rolling DD. Oh, my damn. Double arm DDT right in the middle of the ring. Yo, that man is out, out. Wait. Do I hear music? Y'all hear that shit? What the fuck? Ain't that wild? That's wild man shit. I don't fucking see wild man though. What the? The fuck? Turn around, motherfucker. Oh, there he go. Oh! Wild man with a cutter right on CJ. Uncle Charles didn't even see it. Damn, and the great white looking to take advantage. One, two, and CJ kicks out at two. Oh, damn. Now that the black peppermint booty hole is out of the way, Wild Man says he is next in line. He's coming for that title. Looks like CJ Frost has some problems on his hands. Looks like he gonna have some things to address. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. Who y'all got? Who y'all got in this one? Are y'all rocking with CJ Frost, the DTKA world champion? Or are y'all rocking with the Great White? Let me go ahead and check that poll one time. Y'all, we had 980 comments. We got 60 reactions, 146 shares, three clips. Pull up. Don't forget to clip y'all's matches if y'all see some shit y'all like. Oh, the Great White went for the low blow. CJ denied that shit. Cut the credit card up right in front of his face. So disrespectful. CJ Frost, the champ, is in the lead with 13 votes, 65% of the votes, while Great White has 35% of the votes with seven of them. Y'all, what a freaking night it has been. Oh, what a fucking night it's been. That type shit. Said beat his ass. Tory Land with those cups. Oh, got him that time. Oh. Oh, hit him in the little Frosties. Hit him in the Frosties. No, not the Junior Frosties from Wendy. No. No, hit him in his Junior Frosties, his little Frosties. His, 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 his Frost cubes, his ice cubes. He, no, man, you can't do that. Thou shalt not hit a man. I'm thirsty now. I'm thirsty. I need something to drink. I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm th that is fucking wild. He went for it twice. You got the second CJ trying to make him tap. CJ's trying to make him tap. The great white is up. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. The champ makes the great white tap. So looks like there is no. CJ Frost, the champ, despite having had a run in by Wild Man, he comes out victorious. CJ Frost is now seven and three, while the Great White is now 0 and one here in DTKA Promotions. CJ Frost with the diss up. Hit that man with the Mandingo cutter. He say, oh my God, my God. Not the Mandingo cutter. The Mandingo cutter. Double on DDT right in the center of the ring, King. Yellow Mountain with those cups. Pull them up. Pull them cups up. I see y'all. Pull them up. He hype.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why he's the champ. Uh-oh, the great white is still down. He better get up for the piranhas. Get him. There you go. There you go. Wise decision. Wise decision. Wild, wild man with the hashtag DTK. Okay, I see you. Claw Thomas with those cups and that fire. Okay. Pull up. Pull up. CJ Frost tore up that notice and made it snow. What? What? A little bit of, you know what I'm saying? Or did he hit him with that 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 salt bay shit? You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I saw him in the headlines. Did he really do that in front of a chick's uh, dude? Did he really do that shit? Or was that a trolling thing? Yellow Mountain with that hashtag DTKA. I see you. Yes, y'all. Up next. Tommy Moon. Big bad baby daddy Ali. And VJ in a triple threat ladder match to determine who is going to be the number one contender against Ace, the Intercontinental Champion. Now, Ace, uh, Tommy Moon has had a little, what you want to call a trilogy there with uh, with Ace. So that'd be interesting if they're able to go around for another time. But it'd be interesting if somebody's baby daddy also gets it or VJ because VJ was also a former Knockout Kings champion just like Tommy Moon. So who is going to get the Kool-Aid pack? Y'all see it hanging above the ring. And y'all, just now, it's happened. Yeah, I'm sorry to do this thing, but some drugs. Uh, Strip club prices have just run up. Uh, ladies, I've just now been informed. Um, due to the height and the height uh, of the game stop incident, the Strip Club stock prices have just went up. Y'all know how Tommy Moon does when he steps into the club, the strippers stop bursting and start making it rain on him. And he's just a guest there. He just shows up, you know what I'm saying, to make it rain on them. But they end up just giving him the money back. You know what I'm saying? And he walks into the club just like this. So if y'all don't know, y'all might want to invest, you know what I'm saying, into some of that strip club money so you can be making a fortune. Buck Logan say, let's see who's really the father. Man, I'm done with y'all. <laughs> DJ say, good luck, Tommy and Daddy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can't call him Daddy. Can't call him Daddy. Can't call him Daddy. You got to whoop that ass, DJ. Tell him that after the match. You got to whoop that ass. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit him with them New Japan forearms. You know what I'm saying? Light his ass up. Big bad baby daddy trying to trying to duck that uh trying to duck that child support. You know what I'm saying? Be ducking them like Renaissance when they be coming back to collect they shit. Ain't happening to me though. I pay my shit on time. And I ain't Renaissance no way. I'm a con. I'm just saying. I'm a con. Y'all see it. Y'all see it, didn't I tell y'all? He enters the strip club just like that, y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Female strippers be going home broke at the end of the night. Broke at the end of the night. Oh, damn, and you hear those skid marks there? Oh, shit, he done pulled off out front of some baby's mama's house. Somebody's wife, somebody's mama's house. Just crawled up out of that. That man can't do right for nothing. Look at the gold. Look at the gold. The big bad baby daddy is strutting down. Say he ready for it. Say he want that belt. Say he wants that belt. What you need to do is get caught up on that back pay. Do you hear me? Yo, but I ain't gonna lie. That would be interesting. Ali versus Ace. Because y'all seen it. These Ace and Ali have been going back and forth at it here recently. So while Tommy Moon and Ace have history, uh, Ali and Ace have been going back and forth here for quite a, you know saying, quite a little while. And then you got BJ here who's like, yo, you know, basically the champ threw his name in the hat. Like, yo, he's proven himself. He's been making a statement here in DTKA promotions. You know, he's worthy. So during last show, it pretty much got settled. 
triple threat ladder match to find out who's gonna be the number one contender for that Intercontinental Championship. And from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at Y'all see it. Hey! Hey, okay. Hey, hey y'all, y'all best to look around, watch the Dragon Balls, because Frieza is now sipping with us. Frieza, thanks for sipping. Y'all, y'all know what to do. Let's see those cups and those hashtags. So welcome, let's make our sippers feel welcome, y'all. No. Stay sipping. Stay sipping, Frieza. What's good with you? You say, dude, reminds me of Swerve. Who that? Who them? Maybe daddy told me that Ace's woman moans is realer than his title reign. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. That was a burn. That was a burn. Omar with those cups. I see you. Tommy Moon right out the gate. Took VJ down. Yo, y'all better watch him. The man's a scraps. Kadam Rajesh. Thanks for the like. Thanks for sipping with us, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Glad you're loving the Kool-Aid today, man. Welcome back. Cook Claw say don't kill the messenger. Nah, I won't. I just put a hit out on you right now. I'm playing. I'm playing. I won't do that. I won't do that. Oh my gosh. Ali is already hitting folks with furniture. Look, man, ain't been here five seconds and already moving shit around. It's like the maid that was on the episode of Martin. She came in and just started doing shit, changing shit up. BJ rolls out, collects himself. Slide backs in, tries to take a swing but couldn't get it. Spinning back heel kick from Ali, but BJ caught him in midair and hit him with a backbreaker. Hit him with a backbreaker. BJ now on Tommy Moon. Looks like BJ's making his rounds. Tommy Moon with the reversal. Ali runs out of nowhere with the diving flurry. Picks him up with a die deadlift. Sidewinder. Oh no, and BJ's trying to grab that briefcase already. No, Ali, stop him. Ali's trying to stop him. Oh, and BJ climbs down. He's like, I don't even need your help. I'm gonna climb down so I can whoop your ass. Neck breaker from Ali. BJ ate that shit like breakfast cereal. Rode right up back to his feet. Tommy Moon making his way to the top. BJ catches him, pulls him down. Tommy Moon cannot quite get there. Goes to grab him. A little bit of weave game from Tommy Moon. Knife edge chop Ali. VJ is just becoming a victim now. Y'all, give me a, one second. I'm going to grab something. Drink it, drink it. sitting on the apron looking dead at his ass is he just gonna let him get it no he's not he's gonna push the motherfucking ladder over because that's what you do in a ladder match electric chair and drops tommy moon down almost but not so fast and then drops ali is bj is bj gonna be the one to come out on top in this match who do y'all got who do y'all have winning this match? Do you have Tommy Moon, BJ, or the big bad baby daddy Ali? Oh my damn, Ali is over. In my wildest motherfucking dreams did I ever think the bad motherfucking baby daddy Ali would be. Holy shit! Damn, that was faster than I fucking thought. Yo, we are breezing through this shit. And then we ain't even 
haven't hit the two and a half hour mark yet. Run that bitch then. Well, it looks like BJ is the number one contender and will be challenging Ace at the next pay-per-view for the Intercontinental Championship, y'all. Holy hot dang. Also, DJ now 4-4, four and four, got a nice even record there. Okay. Ali. Now, what the fuck? Here we go. Wait, what is this? Gladiator, DJ. I know that ain't what the fuck I thought I saw. Tommy Moon now 5-7. and seven. Yo, I gotta say, I'm surprised on that one. That, that shit was pretty quick. Y'all see it? Up next, y'all, we have an Elimination Chamber match for the Knockout Kings Championship. Yes, you heard it. Between King Messiah, Chaos, Mars, Nathan Quinn, Sir Scott Ryan, and Colt O'Connor, who is gonna become our new Knockout Kings Champion. Yes, the hits just keep on coming. They keep on coming. Hey, y'all, and I want to thank everybody who coming through sipping. We have 1,118 comments, 62 reactions, 146 shares. That's how we do. Pull up. Uh-oh. Uh oh, okay. Omar cheering the king on. Cheering the king on. Let's see what's about to happen. Let's see what's about to happen. Well, y'all know me. I got the munchies. So, uh. Yeah. About to go into them brownies. Do you hear me? Lauren, thanks for those cups and those cupcakes, man, for sure. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and jump this bad baby out. Oh, up? Uh. Yeah. Claude say, where the Whataburger at, Archie? Oh, shit. Hey, man. Hey man, I eat Whataburger shit. I eat Whataburger damn near almost every day. And I'm not even making them funny. I'm dead ass serious. Bro, you like that sometimes, man. You like that sometimes, man. Colt O'Connor making his way to the ring. He said, but before I walk down, I got to shine on the boat. The challenger from Brent County Wicklow. Weighing in at 277 pounds, the hooligan, Colt O'Connor. John says, where is Draven Crimson? Draven Crimson was supposed to have a match with Big Brother, but fucking uh, Sinister Mr. Wade did that bullshit run-in with a sledgehammer and pretty much got the fucking match canceled and thrown out. Because remember the whole shit with Bishop last week in Big Brother. Well, Mr. Wade didn't take too kindly to that shit. You know what I'm saying? So he fucked that shit up. You know, so yo, Draven may have to holler at Sinister Mr. Wade about that. You know what I'm saying? Cause, hey, we don't we don't take too kindly to people taking away opportunities from others here at DCKA. So hey, be my guest, man. Be my guest. Be on that ass. What, what you gonna do? He says Seamus is illegitimate son. What about Yellow Mountain? Where's the duck? Where's the duck at? Gotta see if she gets lucky like last week. Oh! She said Yellow Mountain got lucky last week. 
Is that so? Oh, okay. I'm just going ahead. That's not handle that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead and move the furniture and shit. You know what I'm saying? Move everything out the way. Let's see. It's about to go down, down. It's about to go down, down. Oh, Draven Crimson calling out. Sinister Mr. Wade for affecting the run-in during his match. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, you know what? I can respect that. I, I can respect that. I can, I can respect that, bro. For sure, for sure. For sure. Bet that. Bet that. I got you. Boom. Got it. And y'all see him flexing it. The knockout king's champion strutting down on him, flaunting all that gold. Will he retain it this time? Now he got it. And now he will defend it in a motherfucking chamber. Jennifer. Jennifer. Grace. Thanks for the life. Jennifer Grace. Oh, oh, see, I knew it was going down. Look at them. They already at it. I love that. Ladies, talk y'all shit. Talk y'all shit. Do that. Do that. The intro music slap. Don't it, though. Don't it, though. Dory, though. Uh-oh. As y'all see, the champ, CJ Cross, the champion, the DTKA heavyweight, world champion, dropping in those stars. Chaos making his way to the ring. Now the third member of Mean Savages. Will he lead this ring as the Knockout Kings champion? Let's find out. This is going to be interesting because I got to say, everybody in this match has a legit chance of winning this match. Just being honest. Has a legit shot at winning this match. It says fight or fuck off. Oh, damn. Kinda talking like a champ. Kinda talking like a champ. That, 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 that champion material right there. I, I fuck with you. Walking around mugging everybody. Mugging the competition. Mugging everybody. Not phased by nothing. Not phased by nothing. Gets out and like, okay, I'll go ahead and chill in my pod. Let me go ahead and chill out. Chaos, 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 chaos. Y'all see it? Mean streak and savage cheering for their comrade. And that's what you're supposed to do. King Messiah making his way down to the ring. He's walking down like he's ready to execute somebody. Y'all, y'all better watch out, man. That man looks serious. I don't know nobody would have looked like that who ain't ready to whoop ass. I'm just saying. Look at it, as the chamber is suspended above the ground, there is no mat, none of that shit, no sir, no sir. My boy walked in and walked out, your Mortal Kombat Tournament Champion. Yeah, he did. Pull up. He said, let's go, man. Y'all, we have 1,151 of them things. Hey. And that man with too much swag for the bad, Sir Scott Ryan, repping Detroit. Now, he really needs a dub. Sir Scott Ryan needs a dub. He's been kind of taking some L's here lately, too, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, Sir Scott Ryan's record is, oh, actually, he four and five. He ain't doing that bad. Sir Scott Ryan ain't doing that bad. Okay, okay. Shit, let me sit back and shut the fuck up here and let him do his thizzle. Wait, does that mean what I think it is? 
Is it gonna be King Majaya and Sir Scott Ryan to jump this off? Let's see. Let's see. Pull up. Pull up. Let's get it. Y'all see him flexing on him. Y'all see him flexing on him. Walking by, talking his shit, doing what only he could do. Walk right over to Chaos. Oh. Oh, Chaos, bro. You may have some problems in the future. King Majaya comes right out the gate throwing hands. Sir Scott Ryan comes back, throws another. King reverses. Nice little shoulder tackle there, knocks him down. Not much movement, went for a jab, couldn't quite connect. SSR with the reversal. What's he looking for? What's he looking for? A brain buster, ooh. Ooh, that, that'll that hurt. That, that, that hurt right there. That, that, that hurt right there. Somebody called Ching. That hurt right there. <laughs> he said he gonna take that L tonight. Oh, oh, he said he gonna take that L. He said he gonna take that L. Said she gonna come with dripping duck sauce on her opponent. Who? Who gonna be dripping duck sauce? What, what the hell? I look up and I see duck sauce. What in the hell is going on here? Sir Scott Ryan thrown to the outside of the chamber. King Majaya looking at him. Goes right to him. Picks him up, not wasting any time. Damn, made him do a whole 180. That is strength right there. That ain't even just pure strength. That's strength. Mm, mm, mm. Sir Scott Ryan is not going to be the same after that. He is not going to be after seven. You can only take so much of those. You can only take so much of those. And I banged my head a lot. I went and did a swing on a vine and swung back and hit my head on like a concrete wall. Wouldn't even really come. It was like made out like rocks. Came back and just boom. In gym, supposed to run and base slide on the mat, slid, boom, hit the gym floor. Concussion. Boy was out of there. Nathan Quinn's now in. Oh, it looks like Nathan Quinn and King Majaya double teaming on Sir Scott Ryan. No, double teaming is long. My bad, short lived because Nathan said, "Fuck that shit." Little fireman's carry there from King Majaya. Goes over. Hurricane runner on Sir Scott Ryan. Man, say. I know his dome hurting. I know his dome hurting. Head gotta be. See, I think that one guy is stuck. Who was that? Um Coach O'Connor? I don't think he I don't think he's got out the uh, I don't think his pod chamber's open, but. Yeah, I'm looking. He do look a little glitched out in the glass, though, which is kind of weird. He looked like Goldberg at the beginning of the, uh, what game was it? Was it Mayhem? Or something like that, the one where Goldberg's being built in the factory. And then he break out and then just take off running. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's number four? And it is Chaos. Y'all, Chaos has been let loose in the chamber. Of chaos, ain't that some shit? Hey, a computer can blow my shit. That's a pure coincidence. Chamber of Chaos has chaos in the match. Boy, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't write this shit. You can't write this shit. Sir Scott Ryan has him up, drops him down. Not looking good, and King Mazaya has spilt his Kool Aid. Nathan Quinn making sure he feels it. Making sure he feels it. Oh, and that might be it for the king. Nathan Quinn say no, he's not done. He wants to make sure that the body is dead and not breathing. What's he doing? Hey, get ready to clip this shit. Get ready to clip. Jumps off with a splash off the, the fucking fire. Nathan Quinn is going fucking crazy. That man is going crazy. He done lost his shit. That man has lost his shit, I tell you.
King Messiah with the fight back. Nathan Quinn is with the fight back as well. King Messiah ducks out the way. Look at that. Oh, no. Chaos ends up hitting Uncle Charles. Uncle Charles is getting his ass whooped tonight. It just ain't right. Sir Scott Ryan can't quite do it. Now four and six. What's this? Mars. The champ going straight for Nathan Quinn. Says no, sir. No, sir. Flexing on him. Flexing on him. I wonder if Mars got, I wonder if Mars actually, you know what I'm saying, got abs, though. I bet he, I bet he don't. I bet Mars ain't got them abs, though. You know what I'm saying? He look Kevin Owens like, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, he's still flexing on him, though. He's still flexing on him, though. And as long as he holding gold, it doesn't matter what he looks like. Who the fuck? Chaos is knocking people out left and right. Holy shit. King Mazaya is out. Now one and two. Yo, Kodo Kana ain't even been released from his pod yet. Little gut buster there from Chaos. Nathan Quinn picking up Mars. Goes for a punch, misses. Mars reverses. Throwing him back, throwing him back. Chaos catches him. Oh, and that may be zip. Nope, no, it ain't. That man's holding the belt. Unless they just mob up and whoop his ass, it ain't happening. Y'all gonna have to beat the shit out of Mars, and it looks like that's what Coach trying to do. But that plan's gonna have to be put on hold because that man right there, that man right there, chaos is fucking shit up. Jason Jones, thanks for the like, man. Sorry if I was late on that. I hope I wasn't late on that. But uh, just in case, because I feel like I was. Jason Jones, thanks for the like. Jennifer Rudloff Grace, thanks for the like. Kadam Rajesh, thanks for the like. And Corey Davis, thanks for those 50 stars, man. I know I said some of those other ones beforehand, but I wouldn't go ahead and run them back through. Thanks for sitting, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Chaos picking up Coach O'Connor. Iris whip to the turnbuckle. Running. Knife ass chop, drop kick to the head piece, right in the back area too. That right there will dirty your kitchen. That will dirty your kitchen. You know saying? Black folks know what I'm talking about when you got the kitchen back there. You know what I'm saying? It be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. What is that? Oh my gosh, Ken Sasha from Chaos to Koto Kana. And he's not even worried about it. Who the hell walks off? Who does that? Chaos does that. And look at this. Koto Kana back up on his feet. Walks out. That's cold. That is cold. Headbutt. Nathan Quinn. That Kool-Aid is spilled for real for real. I don't, I don't see him withstanding. Because these are big ass dudes. These are some pretty big ass dudes. Like, I, I just don't see it happening. Colt O'Connor is straight abusing. Straight abusing, I tell you. Search guy Ryan. Chaos has bars up. Oh my gosh, with an X flex. Is that it? Is that it? Is Mars done for? Is Mars done for? Oh no, Chaos brought the shake. Chaos brought the shake. No, he's not. No, Koto Kata's not. Watch out, Uncle Charles. Watch out now. And now Mars has built his Kool Aid. Chaos looking to wrap this. Oh, says he has more shit to fuck up. Oh. Mars and versus. Sue, thanks for the like. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for dropping those. Uppercut forearm smash for Coco Connor. Running knee smash. Chaos. Mars down. Mars 
Bars dropping chaos on his ass, yo. What is going on? Michaela dropping in with the like. Nerf, what is happening? Nerf was good with Tyga. Oh, and Mars with the power bomb. Dropped him down. Nathan Quinn and his spilt Kool-Aid. Coach O'Connor is down. That may change your hair color. You might want to watch that. You might want to watch that. Oh, no. And he's out. Nathan Quinn is done. Nathan Quinn is out. He has sipped enough. That man is three and eight. Poe up. He says, Lies, you want a piece of this too? Oh, snap. Pulling up. Yo. Herma Wan. Herma Wan. Herma Wan, thanks for the sip. Punchy, thanks for the sip. Pull up, y'all. Y'all know how we do. Let's see those cups and those hashtag DTKAs in the chat right now for our new sipper. Let's welcome the man, show him how DTKA do it. So my fans coming hard, don't be mad, little Doug. Just know I'm coming for you with a vengeance. Oh, word. Oh, word. Oh, damn. Okay, they going there. I see they whooping everybody. Everybody getting whooped. Okay. Okay, chat going in. And then there were three. And then there were three. Koto Connor canceled. Chaos is spell. Oh no! Chaos breaks out of that. Yo, this dude's unstoppable right now. This dude's freaking unstoppable. Right oh! Talk about getting up on a Uranagi. Shit! Jumping knee strike right to Mars's face. That man is spilling his Kool Aid. Still holding on to his cup, but. Bye. Chaos dropping on him. We want Mountain Lynn next week. Oh, okay. They're trying to get it. Oh, y'all want, want round two? Y'all want round two on that? Y'all want round two on that? Y'all really want round two on that? Let me know. She said she will cross the gender line to put hands on folks. Oh, shit. Damn. Shit, it's like anybody can get the hands. Uh-oh, Coach O'Connor going up top. Has chaos on it. Not quite. Mars just standing by. Letting him handle his business and was waiting for the time to come drop on his ass. Artemis Robinson, thanks for the like, man. Glad you're loving sipping the Kool-Aid, man. What flavors y'all sipping? What flavor Kool-Aid y'all sipping? Y'all know we got lifetime supply. Y'all know we got all kinds of Kool-Aid and shit. Y'all know this. You know what I'm saying? Even though, and then I want to know what kind of, what flavor Kool-Aid and what kind. And by what kind, I mean... Vegan Kool-Aid, White Folk Kool-Aid, Black Folk Kool-Aid, Sugarless Kool-Aid, Senior Citizen Kool-Aid. You know what I'm saying? That type shit. Po up. Cole O'Connor climbing, pulling himself up. Mars kicks chaos right in the dock. Of all places. Yo, what was that? Chaos and Colt went for the swing at the same time and both hit each other, it looked like. Iris ripped Colt, throws Chaos out the ring. Goes for Colt. Colt has Mars dazed on the corner turnbuckle. That man is sleepy sleep, eating nothing but top turnbuckle and DTKA logo. Would not want to know how that tastes because we are matches in this thing deep. And a bunch of people been on that thing. I, w I wouldn't want to do that, man. I wouldn't want to do that, man. Tory Lynn pouring up those cups. Let's see what we looking like. Okay, so Mars has five of the votes. Chaos has four of the votes. And then there were three. Cole has a... Oh! We will have a new champion. Holy shit. Yo, he fought though. He fought though, came close. The Knockout Kings champions love to come close. But just don't. Can't quite finish that. I'm looking for somebody to find. 
who can successfully retain that championship. And what is Colt doing? Colt looking to fly. Oh, missed him by this much. Chaos was rolling to get back up. And Colt completely came down and ate nothing but Matt. I mean, he ate all of that. No Irish soda bread or nothing. Just ate nothing but Max. Damn. That shit hurts. That shit hurts. Pulls him up, trying to bang the shit out that knee, ain't he? That man too young for arthritis. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Death Valley. What's he doing? Colt looking to swing chaos round and round and round and round and round. He's still going. He's still going. And chaos is not giving up yet. That took everything Colt had to apply that. To go from finisher to big swing, that took everything. I got to agree with the crowd. Fire. Chaos punching him while he's down on a knee. Oh no! And Chaos has shanked him. Chaos is still holding this shank and it is not looking good for Colt O'Connor. Jumping knee strike to the face. Chaos turns him over. Pulls him to the center of the ring. What's he looking for? What's he looking for? Dropping those elbows right on that knee. Oh, putting stress on it. Putting stress on it. Claude with the This Is Awesome chance. That's what I'm talking about, man. Rep that. Rep that. Buck Logan says Alcatraz. Ah, ah, oh, damn. No, not Oz, man. Not Oz, bro. Not Oz, man. Colt O'Connor picking up chaos. Which one of these guys will be leaving this chamber as the champ? Chaos thinks it's gonna be him by the way he's celebrating. Now what is Colt doing? Climbing to the top, turnbuckle. Climbing to the top, going to the cage. Bro, now you trying again? Trying again? Oh, and gets it this time. And gets it this time. Can somebody drop another clip? Yes, I love it. We just gonna put on how many people have jumped off the top of the pot. I'm just pull all those together. You know what I'm saying? They go through those. That shit was fucking lit. That man went up for a second time and said, fuck it. I know I missed the, say, uh, the first time, but I'm gonna come down for another time. Sorry, bruh. Can't, can't have that. Can't have that. This ain't for plugging your Twitch links, man. Sorry about that, broski. Sorry, man. Oh, Death Valley one more time, and Chaos is still in this thing. He is not giving up. Yo, these two are fighting their ass off. This shit is lit. And Colt O'Connor with a clothesline saying, oh, your ass ain't done? Oh, your ass ain't done? Ah! Colt O'Connor not only has a winning record with three and two, But it's also your new Knockout Kings champion. That's crazy. After all those shanks. After all those shanks, man. Let me go ahead and update that. Uh, there we go. So here is DTKA Promotions, our eighth, our eighth Knockout Kings champion. Here is your winner. Cole. O'Connor. Extreme. Pull up, y'all. Champion. The Hooligan. He has, man. He has. He's been on a tear. Hey, appreciate that clip. Damn, Koto kind of been very. Yo, my bad. That was the last comment. Fucking up. 
As y'all see, your boy staying up today. Don't forget y'all, if y'all miss it, check the YouTube. Oh, shit. Okay, boss didn't tell me about this one now. Holy hot damn, y'all, I get a. Hey, up next for the DTKA Women's Championship, we have Violet Wolf versus Lucy Westeros. These two have been feuding. Yellow Mountain came in, interjected in that one. We saw a triple threat title match at the uh, last pay-per-view, but Lucy ended up walking out with the belt as well. Violet's like, nah, fuck that. I'm still coming back for that thing. I need my one-on-one. -on -one. All these other motherfuckers get their one-on-one. I want my one-on-one. -on -one. I, I'm guessing that's her feeling right here to be able to get this because somebody had to go to the boss for this. You don't just throw a DTKA Promotions Women's Championship match on the card and be like, hey, you know, just throw that bitch up in there. Somebody went and started some shit about this. Hashtag NBI, big ups for that match. Fucking amazing. Yeah, it was. That shit was fucking fire. That shit was fucking fire, man. They did they did their fucking thing, no lie. No lie, they showed up and showed the fuck out, man. The following sipping, contest sipping. is a last man standing match. And last it's woman the standing Pro match. Women's Championship. I'm gonna have to fire her ass next time she do that shit. Well, well, I'll, I'll hit her with a hefty fine. You know what I'm saying? Cause you can't find them when they find. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can find them when they find. But I can't fire her, you know what I'm saying? Because that, you know what I'm saying? All the siblings out there in the crowd and shit, you know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of eye candy for them, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that, you know? So you gotta entertain the people, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Violet, down to the ring, hands up, ready to do this damn thing. Will she retain no yellow mountain? I see you with those cups. Y'all, and I appreciate y'all for showing up still. You know what I'm saying? Everybody who came through today, you know what I'm saying? We got 1,000, 2,000, or 1,284 comments, 68 reactions, 148 shares. Thank y'all so much. And right now we got the champ, Lucy Westeros, strutting to the ring with all that gold. Will she retain? Let's find out, y'all. Hold up. Ali proceeds, this is all proceeds from her finds go to the Make-A-Wish Ninja Wood Foundation. Hey, you know what? I approve of that message. I approve of that message. Y'all, the Women's Championship is on the line. Pull up. Yes, I said it. Pull your mother. Introducing the outside. challenger from parts unknown. Let's get it. Whoa. Man, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? We ain't just, we ain't, DTK ain't here. We ain't, we don't just be throwing out, you know what I'm saying, title she matches all the, the time and shit like that. So, you know, champion. when they come through, they special. The you know what I mean? So, this shit's about to be fire right now. I'm just saying. I'm ready to see it clogged with those cups. Tori Lynn pulling up, been pulling up all night. That's what's it right there. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, we are lit. And coming up next is the main event. Don't forget, y'all, we have the main event for the Tag Team Championships. Mean Savages, MBI, in the 420 click for the newly vacated Tag Team Championships. Hashtag DTKA Women's Best in the Biz. Go ahead then, man. Go ahead then, man. I won't argue with you on that. Love that shit. Love when the Simples are here appreciating the fans and shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? Holding it down. You know? You know? Lucy drops Violet right on her head. Right now, yo, Lucy is out here to show her why she's a rookie. And Violet says, I am not a rookie. Okay. Okay, then. For sure, then. For sure, then. Violet with a punch right to the face. Goes with another forearm to the face. Grabs her, Violet breaks out. Walks over, hits her with a snap mare, kick to the back. Uncle Charles walking around, but y'all see he's keeping his distance because he been getting he been getting fucked up all night. So, you know, it is what it is. Oh la.
Don't fuck with the motherfucking love. Sorry, y'all. Oh, she's down, leaned up against the ropes. Violet looked like she been shot. Four. Four. Oh, oh, damn. Five. Five. Oh, shit. Six. Six. Oh, my damn. Seven. Seven. The girl been shot with a pistol. Eight. Eight. Okay, she back up now. Holy hot damn, I'm about to say now. He says NBI with the spoiler. The champs tonight. NBI calling it. Uh-oh. NBI having premonitions out here. Okay, I see you. Pull up there, man. Pull up, Tory Lamb with those cuffs. What you saying? This is a barn burner. Yeah, man, it's gonna be for sure. They already turned this motherfucker up. Violet hitting cartwheels and moonsaults and shit. Throws the champ out the ring and then flips over. Oh my gosh. I don't think she got it, but still impressive though. I mean, right afterwards. Right after throwing Lucy out the ring. I mean, she followed her. She followed her all the way home with that shit. Props for trying, though. Props for trying. Appreciate those cups. Thanks, Billy. That boy said that werewolf world. Some shit like that. Some shit like that. Riley says, up. Oh, hold on. Watch me work. Watch me work. Lucy tries to counter. But Violet counters. Kicks to the gut. Lucy tries to hit another spinning hip from the hook. Spinning hip kick's been real popular tonight. I see. Oh, spinning back fist. Right to the grizzle. Right to the grizzle and drops her face first on the steps. Oh, that'll make a wolf growl at you right there. That'll make a wolf growl at you right there. Throws her back. Let's see. What's the pole looking like? Who do y'all got in this match? Let's see. We have seven votes for Lucy, one vote for Violet. Okay, Lucy got her fans in the spot right now. Lucy's fans are in the spot. Rowdy, proud, and loud. Shout out to my match. Nice reversal. Another spinning back fist. Looks like she hit her in the neck on that one, though. Carries her to the steps one more again. Okay, she had to lost the K9 tooth after that. Had to have lost the K9 tooth after that. Oops, Violet's down. Two. Will Violet make it back to her feet? Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Violet. Okay, she's coming close. Real quick on those counts. Real quick on those counts. Hey, Ricky Rose with the like. Appreciate that, broski. Thanks, man. Okay, that boy Phil dropped a share up in there. Yo, don't forget. Okay, Rose Cartel dropped one up in there. Okay, Brian dropped one up in there. Okay. Okay, y'all came to and show some damn love in this motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, will she make it this time? She's come close. She's come close on these eight counts. You know what I'm saying? Will we get another eight count? Will we get a nine and a half? Or a nine and three quarters? Seven. Nine and three quarters. Eight. Nine. Get that Harry Potter on the, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, hold on. Hold on, I think I got my nine and three quarters. I think I got my nine and three quarters. I think I got my nine and three quarters, y'all. Violet with the comeback. Looking to let the beast loose inside. She is raging. The champ is now down. Ricky, thanks for those, man. That's how we do. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. 
Smith for the win the two way to the taxi pair. That's what I'm talking about, Omar. Pull up, man. Seven. Eight. Eight. The champ's back up at eight. And right as soon as she gets to her feet, she hits him with an elbow. Vicious. Violet brings Lucy to the center of the ring. What's she looking for? What is Violet looking for? Oh my God. Oh no, she didn't. Oh no, she didn't. Shut the front door. She is hitting a big swing on the champ. And tossed her and made her land right in the middle of the DTKA Promotions logo. Three. Yo, will the champ be able to make it back up to her feet? Five. Six. Seven. Eight now. Nine. And Violet's come back with those votes as well. She got five on them. Oh! Fuck me running. No, the fuck she didn't. Holy shit. Y'all, I think we got a new champ here. But I don't think I know. Congrats. She had it in the bag. I thought she had that shit in the bag. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. okay. Okay, Corey. I see your mind. I see your mind dropping in, pulling up with them other both fifty stars, man. Appreciate you, pull up, man. You know me. You know I stay sick and doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? Doing my little, 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 little,
I'm sorry, y'all. I had a moment there. Don't pay me no mind. It's about to go down. Hope y'all have been enjoying the show so far, y'all. Hope y'all have been enjoying the show. This main event is about to be litty, plum, crazy. BJ says, man, it's good to be a face. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that shit. I heard that shit. He's like, man, fuck that heel shit. He said, fuck that heel shit. Real deal. He said, sweet, I'm back for a bit all day. Let's get it, man. Uh oh. Looks like we ready for action. Like we are ready for action. Uh oh. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. They smoking on me. Making his way to the ring. Matter of fact, I'ma celebrate with you. Ain't ready. Ain't no celebration. Just yet. I mean, shit. I don't even need to celebrate. We just part of it. You know, it is what it is. I'm gonna do it because I fucking want to. But you know, you know I got to end up. Hey, y'all, that's right. I'm staying that way no matter what. Oh, hey, man, that's what I'm talking about. Glad to hear that, man. We got a lot of heels here in DTK. Glad to, glad to hear that. Glad to hear that, man. Dude, like, hell yeah, I'll be the face that runs the place. Hold up there, man. Hold up, man. Click all day, blaze up. Y'all heard Rashid. MBI making a way. Nancy Ann, y'all heard her, but just in case you did not go ahead and repeat it. Mean Savages, along with a whole row of cups for that ass. I hear you, Nancy. I hear you, Nancy. For sure. So who's y'all's favorites? I'm sorry. I just, something about Mean Savages is telling me right now. Something's just telling me Mean Savages is about to put that foot like, like, I'm talking about George Clinton's parliament and the Funkadelics knee deep in that ass. Y'all, this is it. This is it. Let's go. Let's go. Drop that motherfucker. Here they come. Mean Savages making their way to the ring. Y'all see it? Y'all got the message yeah. earlier. Let it case your ass missed it, there Go one more time and says, fight the fuck off. It's very simple. Either come throw these hands or move your ass that way. Just like that. I'm fucking with y'all. Y'all know I'm a fucking nut. Hey. Says, well, we are, dude. Yeah, true that, Perry. True that, Perry. You not lying, man. Definitely, there's no saying. So I'm dubs and shit. You right, though. I bet you. Ah! Uh, that's funny. Oh, jumping this thing up right. Savage going for the small dude. Ricky! Ricky! Me, oh shit. Savage has him pinned up right against. The oh no! Me streak hit Savage by mistake with that tornado DDT from the turnbuckle. Oh shit. Gots to be more careful, man. Gots to be more careful. Gots to be more careful. Close line from Ricky Rose. Oh no, two Ricky Rose from Savage actually.
Jay Money has Savage up for a brain buster. Looks like he kind of struggled with it, though. Yeah, I know, I know Savage got that weight. You know what I'm saying? So, you better make sure you get all that next time if you want to put that man down. Again, that's a lot of Naga and a standing moonsault from Mean Street to Jay Money. Holy shit. Yo, I'm telling y'all, that big man can get up. That man can get up. Says, hey man, that small guy ain't no joke. He kicked my ass before. Yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Ricky Rose, man, that little motherfucker there, dude. That dude there is something else. That dude there is something else, man. For real, for real. Artivist Robinson pouring up those cups. That's what I'm talking about, man. Thanks. I appreciate that. Y'all stay safe. Billy D looking for it. Omar said, hold my joint. Boom! Drop Ricky Rose right on his noggin. Billy D going for the pin. Mean Streak says, nope, not yet. Omar feeling himself. Mean Streak picks up Billy D. Omar goes for Ricky. Sits him up. Uh-oh. Lifted him up by the neck, only to drop him back down. Uh-oh. The folks 20 click ran into each other. Drop kick from Mean Street. Billy D rolled out just in time. Not nice time to get the fuck out the way. Very wise time to get the fuck out the way. The, the burner, the burner. The little big dog in the yard, pull up them cups. Yeah, you know I mean, you ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? He like a, he like a, he like a pit bull, but like when they don't get full grown, but still swole. You know what I'm talking about? That type shit. For real, for real. So he's like, sorry, Savage. Whoops. <laughs> that was an accident. I'm telling your spinal adjustment nasty. That'll give you scoliosis. For real. Gots to watch it. Gots to watch it. J Money with the stomp of Savage. Omar and Ricky Rose going back and forth. Main Streak and Billy D. Billy D once tied up in those ropes. Oh, no. Gives Mean Streak the knee. And now we sipping, y'all. Now we sipping. Now we sipping. Ricky Rose has spilled some of his Kool-Aid. Holding on to the cup still. But he is still sipping. Spilled a little bit. But he's still sipping. Mean Streak with a close line to Ricky Rose on the outside. Climbs over. Oh, damn. Mean Savage is both. Both got eyes on Ricky. This ain't looking good. This ain't looking good. Ricky throws Savage back in. Mean Street goes for him. Walks right over him like a fucking bulldozer. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. I mean, he just, he just mowed his ass like grass that ain't been cut in four months. Shit. Landlord must have been on his ass. Hey, boy, you better cut that grass. J Money has Savage up with a sit-out powerbomb. Put in a little bit of that. Omar Slow making it to his feet. Cutter from Ricky Rose. Billy D. Oh my shit. Jumping knee strike to Ricky Rose. Smart thing to ride out. You know what I'm saying? Wipe the blood out your eyes. Wondering who's this me and me and why. Okay, I know I added one more extra word in there that shouldn't have, but that was a freestyle. You know what I'm saying? I was freestyling the biggie. You know what I'm saying? I fucked it up, but it's cool though. You know what I'm oh shit, wait, what? Who that? Who there? Who that? Who got one? Who got one? He said they have to jump Ricky because he's the biggest threat in this match. Facts. Yo, who was it who got this? Who was it who got that first? Oh, uh, who first got that one? Now it's the first tag team to two pinfalls because it's two out of three. The first tag team to get two pinfalls wins. 420 up one? Okay, cool. That shit was crazy and it happened so fucking fast. Ricky Rose has Omar up powerbomb. Damn, and then stomp to the abdomen. That's nasty. Oh, Ricky Rose trying to make Omar tap. Is Omar gonna tap? Is Omar gonna tap? No, Omar slides out. Reverses, kicks to the spine. Mean streaker looks on. Ricky Rose reverses. Omar turns right around, noticing that Ricky Rose was right there. And Main Street 
running into Omar, knocked Ricky Rose down. Just not your day. Main Street is trying to tell Ricky Rose he belongs at the kitty table. Not up here with the grown folks. Damn, man. Yo, that name ain't no joke. They mean and they savages. Shit. It ain't just a fucking moniker, bitch. Oh, drop kick from Main Street. Billy D delivers one to Savage. Savage cross to the corner. Deciding to get his rest in. Ricky Rose still down. J Money down, but back up to his feet. Mean Street climbs out, makes his way to J Money. Billy D's already there, though. Somebody used a GPS. And Mean Street throws J Money, and then right after looks at and faces his eyes, focuses his eyes on Billy D. Y'all, what a fucking match. So much shit going on right here. Billy D throws Mean Streak in. I'm telling you, kicks and knees everywhere, man. It's just disrespectful out here. Only thing that ain't happened is ain't nobody been slapped. Uh-oh, Ricky Rose gets him in a Boston Crab. Is Billy D gonna tap? Is Billy D gonna tap? No, he's not. Gets out of it, but oh, looks like the back of Jay Money's foot caught uh, Billy D on the back there, on the lower sector of his back. Another set out power bomb from Jay Money. Uh oh, this is not looking good for Mean Savage's Cutter from MBI. Another hundred thousand dollar fine to a total of like what two hundred thousand in the past two shows. Savage, even with his Kool-Aid being spilled, even with it being spilled, uh-oh, Coquina Clutch, and Jay Money is out of that thing instantaneously. Oh, now we sipping again, y'all. We big sipping in this motherfucking match. Mean Streak is now sipping. Omar is waiting for him to get another motherfucking refill. Has him up with a power bomb. One, two, Three, oh no! Click for 20 got it. Oh, and then MVI got one as well. Wait, there were two bells there though. Did y'all see that? There were two bells. For 20 can't be up. Cause if they were. If they were if they were up, they would have won that match just then. So they just got their first one. J Money going for another power bomb on Main Street. Billy D looking on. Goes to break it up because he knows it is do or die. The next person to get a pinfall should win this match. Savage got one. Okay, bet that. Bet that. Oh, nice double save from Ricky Rose. Little guy coming through. Okay, little guy. Right on. Fuck yeah. Ricky Rose coming through. Ducks the... Oh, and then just, he's so short. Mean Street just completely missed him. Short folk problems right there, but it ended up being the solution. DDT. Mean Streak is feeling all of that. Yo, Lil Dude done got his money up. Lil Dude done got his money up. Uh-oh, now he's in there by himself with both Mean Streak and Savage. Does the smart thing, rolls out. They both go out to Billy D's side. Have their sights focused on him. Billy D awakens. Throws Savage back into the ring. Mean Streak there to eat the leftovers. Throws Billy D back into the ring. Omar picking up Savage. J Money and Billy Rose both down. NBI are both down in this match, y'all. Talk about brutal. Spine buster from Omar. Savage just walked right into it and Main Street just made Billy D famous. One. Wait, what, what a count? Where is the count? What is Uncle Charles doing? Uncle Charles, you in my shit? Smoking my stash? What the fuck you doing? Oh, jumping. Bro kick from Billy D. Is that a oh shit? Is it over? I said, oh shit, I don't even know what the fuck is going on anymore. Got this motherfucker over 
there, got that motherfucker over there, and then I'm like, God damn it. All kinds of shit. Y'all, if this ain't lit, I don't know what the fuck is. Did that oh my damn Billy D coming through with it. Sis, what's up with the like? Thanks for pulling up. Would you with that clip? Appreciate that. Okay, now the clip counts. We got eight of them things. Go ahead then. Oh, and Omar with the same. What's that pole looking like? Oh, the 420 click has seven. Mean Savages have five. MBI has three. Okay. Okay. Savage going for the big swing. On the smallest guy. Omar just punched. Who was that? Mean Streak? Did he just punch Mean Streak off and Mean Streak into the cage? Gets down, stops Ricky, stops Savage from pinning Ricky Rose. Man, see, feel like he's been hearing that all night. Jawbreaker. Savage just ate that shit, if I'm being honest. Yo, Mean Savages is just making it such a fucking point to tell that dude that he is at the kitty table. Like, for real, for real. What's really going on? You say, sip it up, people. You damn right. Pull up. He says, wait, is this an Iron Team match? No, sir. Two out of three on them, boys. Everybody has one. That's the thing. Everybody in this tag team match has one. So the next person to get that pinfall or submission wins this match. Everybody has one. This is why you sip. This is why you sip right here. This is why you pull that shit up. Let's get it. Mike says, dude, this is lit. I know that's right, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Billy D punches. Oh, Ricky Rose right into the cell. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, clip that. Somebody clip that. Billy D just put Ricky Rose through the cell. Busting through that bitch. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Wait, what the hell? Then I... I don't know what the hell happened there. NBI got one, but I thought that might have been... I thought everybody had one. I feel like I done heard so many damn battles. Shit's crazy. And then they go right back in. Yo, I'm telling y'all, Liddy. Liddy. J Money looking for it. Cutter on Savage. Could that be the coup de gras? Could that be it? Two, three, and MBI comes out as your new tag team champions for the what? One, two, the third time? MBI three-time DTKA champions? That's fucking crazy. That's wild. Congratulations, though. What a fucking match. Hey, y'all, don't go no motherfucking way. We gonna hit somebody with a motherfucking raid. See if they active. Co up, y'all. Stay sipping. The 420 click now. Three and three. Savages now. Holy shit. Six for ten. That's freaking crazy. MBI now eight and eight with a 500 record. Yeah, that was I'm saying that was yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely more than two. Yo, that motherfucker called it. He called it. He called that shit. He called that shit. Props to him. 
that match was unbelievable. Just happy I got to compete in it. Already, man. Already. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate it. But hey, y'all, don't go nowhere. We still got some crazy ass funnies coming up. And we're going to hit somebody with a Rizzo. Stay sipping. Now, I'll stick with Shane. Yeah, probably so. Uh, he's you know, Miss Zach. He's born in uh, Gaithersburg, Maryland to Vincent K and Linda McMahon. Of course, he's the first of two children for Vince and Linda in 1988. He graduated from Greenwich high school, later attended Roger Williams university, where he studied media and marketing also attended Boston university, graduated there in 93. Of course, we know we had all seen Shane on TV by then. I think the first time I saw Shane that I remember seeing Shane was WrestleMania 90. Uh, WrestleMania six there in the Toronto sky dome. When did you first meet Shane 87? I assume uh, I met Shane. Yeah. 1987 summer, 1987. So he's still he in high was... school. And what was your first impression of Shane? The high schooler, uh, <laughs> you know, th this is going to be a broken record because uh, I consider Shane one of my, one of my best buds in the business and a great guy and, and a dear friend of mine. So he was. He was this energetic kid when I first met Shane. So Vince and Linda had uh, moved to Greenwich, Connecticut from, I guess they were somewhere in Hartford and, or, or they had, they built a house. And one of the things uh, on the house was you know, a lot of brickwork and things like that. So Shane had gone to work somewhere or work for oh i know what it was he, he was working at the office shane was working at the office and vince was paying him minimum you know minimum wage and and it was it was you're learning you know and you're going into the office you're going to get paid um what the worker bee would would get paid it was he was a laborer he was getting paid whatever he was getting paid in in the uh warehouse or wherever the hell he worked but shane decided that he wasn't making enough. Wanted a raise. <laughs> it's like, you're not going to make more money just because you're the boss's son. You're going to get paid just like everybody else is getting paid doing that same job. Well, Shane was like, well, fuck this. And Shane went to the guy that was uh, in charge of the brick laying the masonry on Vince's house and said, hey, what do you pay? Guy paid like, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks an hour, which was more than he would have been making at the office and then had overtime and all this other stuff. And, and Shane was like, well, hey, this guy will give me this. And it's like, congratulations, you got a new job. And so Shane, uh, when I met him, was uh, laying brick and working masonry to uh, get money during the summer, working his ass off. He would come home covered in just... Like, you know, cement and shit and but bust his ass, man, to, to pay for his truck. What a great story. As you mentioned, uh, Shane first, fart, first started easy for me to say, uh, working he with first farted, he first farted brother could fart. And uh, well, you got any good Shane fart stories? We'll just go right there. They stink. Okay. Just like the old man, uh, first starts working with the company age 15, as you said, in the warehouse, he's filling merchandise orders and helping mail merchandise. So I guess if you were ordering, you know, shirts and merch in like 85, 86, you probably had Shane mail it to you, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, yeah, to your point, he landed that construction job making like 400 bucks a week, which is more than dear old dad was paying him, which I guess really sets the tone for Vince as a father too. Like he's not just going to coddle you and you're gonna have to make your own way and Shane's comfortable with that. He's comfortable going to make his own way, right? Absolutely. Uh, you know, Shane was Shane was all about doing whatever it took and looked at the opportunity presented in front of him and saw that, well, there are these guys. Not like I have to leave my house either. <laughs> you know what I mean? To go out and do a lot of the masonry work around the uh around the area there. And it's a healthy living, you know, it's uh, he, he made good money and he worked his ass off. He got to be outside. He loved to train even back then. So this was something to keep him in shape and make good money and keep going. Hey y'all, what the fuck is going on? Thank y'all so fucking 
much, y'all. For real. again, excuse the little green glare and shit like that. I got some tuning up to do, although I think I found the source of the problem. I really do. I really think I found the source of the problem. But again, thank y'all for sipping with us. We had another bomb ass show. Y'all sipped with us. You know, thanks for everybody who came through. Appreciate everybody who made it rain with those stars. Thanks to everybody who hit those likes, heart, smiley faces. You know, y'all shared it out. Y'all ran the motherfucking comments up. It was a bomb ass show. I enjoyed myself and I hope y'all did as well. Also, do not forget the podcast is live on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. I do my live game streams throughout the week. And then here we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern on Sundays. Stay sipping with me, y'all. Oh, and also subscribe and hit that motherfucking noti bell on my YouTube. Yes, Drink the Kool-Aid podcast is up on the YouTube. You can catch all the DTKA shows, all the podcasts, all that shit. But I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with this. And then I'm going to go ahead. We're we about to hit somebody with a raid. We're going to go ahead and say it like that. So thank y'all. I see y'all with those cups pulling up. Go ahead and hit me with that one time for the one time. Deuces. Stay sipping. If you ain't sipping, you tripping. Where's the body? I swear I did not do nothing. Where's the body? I didn't kill nobody. Man, we found the gun in your car now. Tell us the truth. I, I promise you I did not you do nothing. You are facing life in prison. On my mama, I didn't do it. What? On my mama, I didn't do it. We have a hundred percent match on your DNA. It's on his mama. It's on his mama. Man. Fuck! I just promise this was the right guy. Niggas don't just put stuff on their mama unless they mean it hundred percent. I'm sorry, man. I guess you're free to go. Appreciate it. Here's, here's your gun back. Sorry about that. Appreciate that, man. Misunderstanding. Y'all stay up. Have a nice day. So you without some bitch? What the fuck is you talking about? I was at my nigga house. I already told you that. You know what look fucking stupid to you? Why did Brittany just send me this? I don't know who that is. That ain't me. I promise that's not me. You got the same fucking outfit on. That's not me. I'm telling you, that's not me. You know what? I'm done. I'm wait, done. wait, wait, wait. What? On my mama. That's not me. What? On your mama, that's not you? On my mama, that's not me. Well, I guess you did know your mama, so I guess it can't be you. It can't be. He just looks hella similar to you, though. Random nah. ass niggas trying to dress like my baby. Yeah, no. I love you, baby. You want to watch a movie? Yeah.